Hello, everybody, and welcome to the show today. We're going to be doing Gangsters here on Drawn a Quarter Ultimate Edition. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, there are a lot of things, as Rabbit had said earlier, that uh, if people are thinking out of the box, uh, other than the classic, um, you know, uh, Scarface type of stuff. Uh, but that could be fun, too. You know, maybe a mashup. Scarface uh, uh, meets uh, Powerpuff Girls. That could be fun, right? And there's gangsters and Powerpuff Girls, too. I'm pretty sure. What is that uh, weird uh, pink bug thing? He's a hillbilly. What's his name? I can't remember. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Weird pink bug thing. Yeah, it's a weird, <laughs> weird pink clue. bug thing. Um, Are we waiting for Eric? He said it'll be a few minutes. Uh, no, we it's okay. Well, we, we always kind of rattle on here. Uh, I do want to kind of start off with it here. I did uh, put together a little a little small montage uh, <clears throat> of some famous gangsters. Uh, this right here is uh, supposedly a picture of Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, it looks like Jennifer Lawrence. I, I don't buy it. Yeah, I, but the thing is, she doesn't really sell anything, does she? Uh, but nevertheless, uh, is Bo are, are Bonnie and Clyde gangsters, I wonder? Would they be considered gangsters? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, they had a gang. They did. The okay. Brown Gang. Yeah. The Brown Gang. Well, that's interesting. Well, The Brown you know, Gang <clears throat> or the Gold Gang? Oh, okay. I did, There you go. You know more than I do. Uh, then, of course, we have uh, uh, this right here is the uh, um, uh, that... L.A. Uh, Noir or whatever it was called, uh, where basically these are a bunch of cops, but they're basically gangsters. This is like an artistic rendering of it. I think it's pretty cool, dude. I liked it. That was a good movie, though. It was L.A. Confidential, I think it was called. Um, and uh, that's pretty neat. They're a type of gangster, too. Cops. Uh, and, of course, I don't know what these guys are, but I thought it was the coolest picture ever because we have here a, a big old uh, a meathead uh, uh, the guy who's probably in charge, obviously a prostitute and, uh, yeah, probably a prostitute too. That will shoot you different kind of prostitute. Uh, interesting picture. Uh, do you guys know where the word gangster comes from? Are you aware of the, of the etymology of the word? Ice tea and ice cube, I believe anything with ice came up with it. Is that is that how it came? No, uh, actually, it, it, <laughs> no? it never. Oh. It, no, no, it never had anything to do with criminal organizations at all. Not at all. It was actually uh, came out of the word ringster, uh, and it was used to talk about political groups uh, spreading influence. So the original use of the word gangster was for politicians. And then uh, newspaper people started applying it to uh, the um, Italian mafia in particular because they would use their money and their power for political influence. And then it just kind of became, uh, po uh, you know, popular nomenclature. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so there you go. A little bit of information for you. It's uh, originally talking about politicians, which, if you think about it, makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. It does. It does. Uh, and then, of course, I didn't want to. I don't think I, there's a coincidence there at all. No, not at all. And of course, I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave my brothers out of it. And I had to give me some representation to the fitty, because fitty, fitty cent. You know, he's 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 a gangster, isn't he? Maybe. He got shot oh, anyway. Does that qualify? If you get shot, I think you can call yourself a gangster. I think that's you know. I think. I think once you start. Making music, I think you it disqualifies you. It does, you know. It's a it's a tough balance. Uh, but then again, uh, most of those guys in the gangster rap are there's nothing gangster about them. <laughs> I actually think Fifty uh, uh, Fifty Cent here. What I can't remember his real name. Uh, I think he's probably closer to it than anything. Uh, but it is interesting that the, uh, that they emul uh, emulated wanting to be like the mafia guys, uh, but they're they're so incredibly unorganized. Which the thing that made the mafia successful is you still to this day the American government doesn't admit that that the mafia is real to this day. Right, <clears throat> that shows you how well organized they are and the system they got in place. These guys, you're raggedy, you're raggedy. But I like your music, Fifty though. You're pretty cool. He's actually pretty cool. I've seen him in some interviews over in Britain, uh, Rabbit's Land, and he was. Uh, what's that? Uh, what's that interview show? He's really popular one. Little guy. He's probably gay, but you know, he's British. It's hard to tell. What's that show? No idea. Booster. Booster. Yeah. No. Well, no. Come on. There, <laughs> yeah, there was a. Uh, uh, there was no, uh, 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 there's a very popular uh, uh, variety interview show in Britain. It's been going on forever. It has all the celebrities on it. What's that guy's name, dude? 
Oh, I know who you're yeah, talking I about. I don't it's got the purple TV. set. I mean, yeah, purple set. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Little teeny guy, skinny guy. I have no anyway. idea. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, okay. You're British. Why don't you know this shit? Um, anyway. Uh, Jimmy Savile. No, it's not. No, 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 sir. No, sir. Uh, but anyway, I saw him on a couple of those interviews. He, he's actually a nice guy. Uh, uh, he seems nice. Uh, anyway, uh, gangsters. Uh, so we'll just get into it here and see what these guys are uh, uh, all about. But before I do that, uh, please uh, do me a favor and uh, hit that uh, hit that share button if you would. Uh, uh, like button, I guess, as well. Uh, if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Uh, but once we, every time we get to 1,000 anyway, we get knocked down. But let's, play, let's keep playing the game. <clears throat> it's fun. You know, it's like whack-a-mole. Uh, so, uh, but anyway, uh, thank you uh, for doing that because we do want to have more people come in here and uh, watch this with us. We do appreciate it. Uh, so let me hit the share button right here, and we'll get over and talk to the guys here in a second. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't do that anymore because uh, Twitter sucks. Uh, but who cares? Twitter's going to die anyway. Um, uh, but I'm doing yeah, the Facebook true. one. Yeah. Now, also, uh, I do hope you guys go to do some draw along. And uh, Rabbit's point that he made earlier, I think, is a very good one. You guys didn't hear it, but uh, um, you know, think outside the box. There's a lot of different gangster type things you can do. Because just keep in mind, it's simply referring to organized crime, right? And there's lots of different kind of organized crime, both in the reality and in the fantasy. So there could be some interesting things. We got ourselves a little bit of a, a Mr. Hawkins in here. Hello, Mr. Hawkins. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well, sir. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, Rick says he's going to do Cyclopean. Uh, uh, next week well do you mean uh uh architecture i'm not sure uh pablo is in here and pablo is definitely going to do us some sexy gangster lady like a gangster wife Ooh, ooh, pablo pablo you know what you need to do you need to do a yakuza wife oh, sir yeah, that's not a bad idea sir <laughs> That's what we need a little bit of, because that's an interesting phenomenon, right? Because they they mark their women, they literally mark their women, right? That's rare throughout society to do such a thing, uh, but they do, they do, uh, and it's still funny to me. <clears throat> I get so many of these foreigners come over here in Japan with their tattoos, and they'll walk around showing them open, or they go to the onsen and stuff like that, not understanding how much you're pissing the Japanese off by doing that. They really don't like it. Really, really, really don't like it. They're just too polite to say so, say otherwise, right? Um, anyway, uh, so I don't know what Cross was talking about, Cyclopean. I, he, maybe he's talking about cyclo Cyclopses? Because, you know, uh, uh, anyway, this could be interesting. Eric, uh, what are you doing in regards to gangsters, sir? Uh, I do believe I'm going to a Tony and Cl Oh, Bonnie and Clyde. I showed a picture of Bonnie and Clyde. I think it was uh, 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 whatever her face is, Lawrence, was in the one I Oh, and it's the, it was the uh, Barrow Gang, by the way. That was the name of the gang. The Barrow Gang. That's much cooler oh, yeah. than the Brown yeah. Gang. That's a cool name. Barrow. You know what Barrow means, right? Real Barrow? Real no. Barrow. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, uh, a, a Barrow is a uh, earth hill like, hey, uh... where bodies are buried, buried within. It's yeah, tuned. like the Barrow oh. Downs. I, I, yeah, I, I, I was thinking that was the. Yeah. Mm, that's a cool name, dude. Like a tomb. You basically, call them the Death Gang. That's neat. Unless they really were just thinking about wheelbarrows. Uh, it's B A R R O W. Yes, Barrow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, all right, so uh, Bonnie and Clyde. That's a cool choice. Uh, uh, that's a cool choice. JD, what do you think about doing, dude? Oh, I'm I'm going to do the Bojangles Mafia. Of course, that's awesome. perfect. We've been that's waiting. Awesome. We've been waiting our whole life for that. That's going to be awesome. Um, They're going to be killing a Colonel. Oh, I'll show you what happened during the explosion. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> that's good. Thank you, JD. That'll be good. <laughs> now, I guess uh, <clears throat> Rick is talking about a particular hero named Cyclopean. Interesting. Uh, okay, <clears throat> very good, uh, JD. I'm uh, I, I I'm I'm happy that you. Uh, you're doing that. It's going to be nice. Kima, what are we getting from you today? I don't know. I'll something figure random. something out. Something random. Maybe the hey, Royal Green Flush Ray. Gang. Oh, the Royal Flush Gang. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, from Batman Beyond. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, 
That's not a bad I idea. Mean, I... Yeah. Not bad. The apple not bad. dumpling gang. Oh, the apple dumpling gang. Oh, we're aging ourselves, but that should definitely happen <laughs> somewhere. Absolutely. The you know because I, when I was doing the um, the D and D, I run these guys through a session. I did the crab apple uh, crab apple gang. That was kind of an homage, you know, an homage. Uh, sounds good. All right, Kima and uh, Rabbit. <clears throat> this is a beautiful looking werewolf, but that's not a gangster. I guess it could be. Oh yeah, I'm just working on. It. That's what I did yesterday. <laughs> yeah. the well, Underworld, one. the werewolves are kind of gangster like, aren't they? Am I doing a werewolf? Hang on, I'll save that. I'm doing Kakihara. Oh, Takihara from Ichi the Killer. Uh, sure, sure. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no, that's do cool. you? <laughs> no, not at all. No, no, no. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, uh, I was, I was, I was doing a good job going with it until you ruined it. Okay, fine. Uh, but uh, you should I'm watch it. Kakihara is an amazing character. He's a good, he's a psychopath. Yeah, he is a. Well, you said it's Gungrave. No, well, that's an anime. I thought about doing Gungrave, but I'm, I figured I'd do Ichi the Killer because I love that movie. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, it's going to be, be uh, you look beautiful anyway. You always do a great job. So, uh, Alan, what are you thinking, dude? <clears throat> the Peanut Gang. No, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to do uh, uh, Dick Tracy was special guest. Oh, oh, Dick Tracy. Great choice, dude. Some uh, They did a great job with Dick Tracy and all the interesting gangsters in that. Actually, it's a great choice. Uh, so let's see. Wanted, reward. Uh, Kiwi face, you gotta watch out for him and uh, Chester ball dunker. Uh, just to be fair, the dick is still longer than the balls. All right, there, Alan. Okay, <laughs> oh, not right. I'm not that long in the tooth yet, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Kim. I do, I do apologize, but one must defend the length of one balls. Yes. I don't care. <laughs> yes. well, this is something you ladies don't have to worry about. Right? Because as we get older, they do tend to sag. No, we just have to worry about our tits. That's true, but say, it does, you know, here's things. the thing, though, Kima. We don't care how much they sag. We still love playing with them. Well, that's it's good all to good. Know. Yeah, it's all good, Kima. It's all, you're all good. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I don't know how that happened. Uh, but, uh, uh, I'm sorry, what, what, you, what do you say? Say it again, what you were going to do, Alan? Uh, Dick Tracy and right. I don't I and I'm, I'm gonna draw a special guest if I have time. Oh, awesome! Yeah, no, Dick Tracy, that's a great, uh, great idea. Uh, we got a Lady Celtic Moon in here, four one one. I don't know what that means. Is that information? I think that's an American thing. That's information. Uh, but uh, happy to have you here, Lady. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, we hope you guys are going to draw along with us, uh, gangsters. It is actually a very broad subject. There's a lot of things you can't cover, but uh, let's get into it here and see what turns up. So, uh, you guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Three, two. One, go! Uh, keep in mind, guys, this is a PG-13 show. Uh, uh, this is not for children. This channel in general is not for children. Uh, so, uh, you know, <clears throat> you know, don't don't bring the kiddies in here. Uh, these guys are free to do whatever, whatever they like. Uh, being gangsters, you know, they do some pretty horrible stuff. I haven't heard anybody mention the Russian gangsters because they're pretty brutal. And they're always a fair movie villain. They definitely are, uh, and uh, but we hope you will draw along with us, and uh, keep in mind, this is two hours. These guys uh, have no rules here uh, on this show. They're allowed to do whatever they want, color, what have you, any medium, any style, uh, which is pretty cool. You know, speaking of gang Russian gangsters, Eric, um, <clears throat> I watched Nobody yesterday with my wife. No? Nothing? Nothing. I don't Nobody? know what that is. I want to see that. That's one with Bob Bodenkirk. Yeah, it is. Odenkirk, it uh, uh, Better Call Saul, and um, uh, oh, okay, Breaking no, Bad. I haven't seen that. Was it good? Did you like it? It was spectacularly awesome. Uh, matter of fact, I think I liked it better than John Wick. It's the same oh. producer, uh, not same director, same producer. They say it's a technically part of the John Wick universe. Um, and, uh, they, there's a possibility of a, having a crossover or something. Cause it looks like they got to drop another a second one, maybe even a third one. Uh, Kingpin is good choice, Rick. You're right. Um, uh, but, um, uh, the reason I say John wick is a professional. I mean, he's, he doesn't make mistakes, right? He's so clean, so smooth. And Keanu did a great job. Um, and it, it, it has all that, that cool mystique of, uh, that world that's in and stuff like that. And John Wick is its own thing and it's badass and we love it. Uh, this is a little more realistic. 
a little more comedic, um, a little more psychotic. Uh, I don't know. I just love the dude. And it's got a great cast, man. It's got Doc Brown is in the freaking movie blowing people away. Come on, dude. That's cool. That is very there cool. Was a movie, there was a movie called A History of Violence, which I think this movie is going to be uh... – well, supposed, you know what I mean? Like it uh, yeah. has the same spirit of that movie. Uh, kind of. Um, this is more comedic and uh, it's, you know, John Wick is, like I said, he's a professional. This guy is a professional as well, but, you know, Odenkirk's character, but I don't want to give away spoilers, but he's psychotic. Right. Um, and uh, I don't know. I just, I adored it. I loved it. Uh, now, I'm sure there's a little bit of it in there that uh, we haven't got a good movie. We don't get many good movies, man. We don't get many good movies. Uh, and I was just happy to see some fun movie that was just entertainment. That was probably part of it, too. Because uh, the last thing I watched was the um, uh, was the, the Suicide Squad. And it was fine. It was watchable. It was entertaining. But it didn't make me like, ooh, because it had so much stupid woke crap in it. I mean, it didn't overwhelm the story, I guess, but uh, it still n- nags at your brain. It's like it's like you know nailing at your head there. Uh, this movie is just straight up fun, uh, and uh, I would definitely suggest it to everybody. Uh, and I certainly hope they do make more. Uh, uh, they don't. They have to get on it quick though, because Odin Kirk is what sixty something. You know, he's sick, almost seventy. Uh, he had a heart attack. He did. Uh, he he had sounds a heart like attack. he's okay though. Um, and of course, Doc Brown, I, uh, Christopher Lloyd there, I mean, he's almost 90, 80 something, right? Um, so they get on it, but I want more of that. I, when I, after watching that, I was like, dude, I want a series of movies. I want a TV series. I want a lot more of it. I'm not going to be, I heard he was it. calling Bob Odenkirk, uh, Marty throughout the filming. Yeah, well, he's you know he's <laughs> he's gone. Uh, it's it, it's been like five or seven years ago. I saw him on with uh, um, uh, with Fox, and they were doing a little skit on like some uh, uh, talk show. And uh, yeah, he's not all there. He's not a hundred percent there all the time. But it's a movie. It's okay. You can uh, take another, do another take. Give him a minute. You know. Um, and a lot of his scenes, he is by himself, and the scenes where he's with, so they they have they can be patient, right? Um, you know, it's still really cool to see Christopher Lloyd just, oh, it's awesome, dude. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. What's it called? I'm still waiting for Nobody. Suburban Commando 2. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Suburban Commando. What a movie. <laughs> uh, Dumbs the Name says, I think the guys who worked on Nobody and John Wick are, uh, are, are doing the Highlander reboot. That would be cool if they were. Uh, <clears throat> that's uh, something, that's another one of those sacred cows you got to be careful with, right? Definitely does not need a reboot. That's for sure. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. No. There could be only the one first movie, movie, and yeah, the, yeah, that's it. It should be. I mean, I enjoyed the second one when I was a kid, but obviously, when you get older and rewatch it, like, it's eh, dumb. It makes yeah. no sense. And the third yeah, one, the same. It's like, eh. <laughs> well, they could take uh, they. You know, an idea would be to just take the Highlander and put him in a a different time period. You don't have to put him in modern times. Let's. Let's see him in the Middle Ages or something like that. <clears throat> Look, the watch. anime movie they did. Did you ever watch that? That was fantastic. No. It was an old school style anime series just called Highlander. Oh, wow. Uh, it's really good. That's actually Wasn't one of the place. Highlander sequels like uh, uh, like uh, Blade Runner? Like it was like part four. It was like based for way in the future. It was one in the Ooh. future. The one with Mario Van Peebles in it. And he was like a I'm not sure. sorcerer or something. Remember that one? Oh, they got they, they, there's only one good Highlander movie, and it's the original. Yeah, um, yeah, it's kinda, yeah, I know yeah. that. But... It's kind of like TV Kirby. series wasn't. No, the TV series was like fine, and it, 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 it was different too. It was following a different guy. Um, and, but but oh, he was in it though for a bit. Only he, he, he did it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, try to help cousins. Or... Cousins. Something like that, yeah. Even yeah, they he, were both McClouds, which made no sense uh, to the continuity. Even though one guy is McLeod French, and, and Connor. right, and the other guy is some kind of Latin, uh, but you know, perfect. Um, oh well, 
Uh, but I did love the first one, though. I adored it. Uh, but um, as what did most people, it was, it was just one of those lightning in a bottle, right? Uh, but they keep screwing it up is the thing that worries everybody. Uh, because it's like Terminator. We got uh, Terminator 1, awesome. Terminator 2, better. How rare. Uh, and then just shit show after it, dude. I mean, my God. It's so bad. Uh, but uh, hopefully it'll be good. Uh, let's see here. Highlander 2 was in the future. Uh, it was, Pablo, and it was it was awful. I mean, and it had Sean Connery in it. It was still awful because it was dumb. It was so dumb. Oh, you know. Uh, Directed speak- him. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but um, uh, uh, speaking of uh, Highlander 2, you know who uh, does has a cameo in Nobody? Michael Ironside. So Lambert? No, Michael Who's Ironside. That? Yeah. There's a lot oh, of good man. actors in that movie, guys. I was like, wow. I thought he passed guy. away. No, no. Uh, well, maybe he did, but I mean, he was real fat. He got super Powers, fat. Powers Booth passed away, and I always got them. Ah, oh, Powers Booth. Yeah, Mickey Splain. Mm. Speaking of gangsters, he he had to deal with a lot of them and his detective noir stuff. Powers Booth. Yeah. Uh, no, I was that was cool. There's lots of little cameos in this movie. A lot of. Uh, uh, and they didn't spend much money on this movie. It was like sixteen million, million, uh, sixteen million dollars production. Million, a million. Uh, but uh, it, it's a fun movie. Go, go watch Nobody. I, I suggest it. It's fun. It's just pure fun. It's no bullshit whatsoever. It's not John Wick though. Don't go in assuming that because it's certainly not John Wick. It's not. It's a different thing. But it's, it's equally cool in my opinion. Although I don't know, a young people are probably going to be all about the John Wick over this, but it might just be my age. Uh, but, um, but I did love it. So nobody else has seen it, huh? Just me. That's weird. I'm usually the last one to oh. see stuff. I'll be seeing it this weekend for sure. I've been wanting to see it. Oh no, it's where you should do. It's absolutely worth it. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's neat. Uh, his thought process, the way he, he, Odin Kirk absolutely had a blast making this movie. I guarantee it. Uh, he, he had just, just straight up fun doing it. I'm, I'm happy for him too. Cause, uh, he's not a bad actor and, uh, he's an old dude. He's probably been in a ton of shit. We just never saw him, but recognized him. Right. He's probably one of those character actors in the background. You don't notice. Right. I just know him from, like, Mr. Show and stuff. Oh, But he's written a lot of things. He was on Mr. Show. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, Thundero says, it's your age. That's probably true, Thundero. Mm -hmm. You know, Thundero, you could could do me a favor and come in here and help me out. Booster sleeping or on drugs or something. You know, it'd be nice. Uh, But uh, we are seeing fans. He's doing his OnlyFans. That's fair enough. He's only got till October. Mm -hmm. He's got to make that money. When he can, right? they they reversed that decision. Did they? Of course they did. Yeah. Once yeah. we found out Booster was on, they were like, "No, we can't stop this." That's fair. That's fair. Well, you know, <clears throat> through all that uh, all that debacle, um, uh, uh, I you know what I think really the problem with the credit card companies is uh, obviously if you have illegal stuff, you need to deal with that, and they have they should deal with that because uh, there is some le- illegal things going on on that site. However, uh, I think what it really is is uh, the credit cards are constantly having to do refunds because it's probably a lot of screaming parents like, what the hell is this? And the credit card companies have to deal with it. And it's probably just annoying to them. I wouldn't doubt if there was some I truth. I can see that. that, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. It's, uh, I don't know. It's, it, it's, a, I, it's such a weird thing for me, Eric, because... You know, you guys know I, I worked in, in, in as a bouncer in the uh, in strip clubs for, what, 12 years? I mean, I, 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 I lived in that and worked in that and made money off of the sex industry, right? Um, mm. But here I sit today, and I just think we've gone too far. I, wow. I, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm just being prudish, but I just feel like well, we've gone too far. Well... It's true. We went too far. I agree. With I've you. seen blow up animals, so I would I would probably concur. Yeah, no, dude, it's it's yeah. it's, it's insane what's going on, and it's just common knowledge. I saw. I was watching. Um, uh, I like that. Uh, Tyler Zed. Uh, I think he's a kind of nice, funny, wholesome kind of kid. 
Um, and um, uh, he does like a little meme stuff, and it's funny. My wife even laughs at it. And uh, there was a teacher. She's like a first-year uh, high school teacher, uh, her first year. And uh, she was uh, making talking about the BBC and stuff like that, and all her students are chuckling. And she didn't get it, and she came to find out later that they were, oh, oh. were they were referencing some <laughs> kind of pornography, which I can imagine what it is. Uh, but Big uh, black, yeah, no, I got it. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I, I figured that. Yes, uh, because of her statement. But it's like that's really that's where you are, high school kids. That's where you are. I mean, you know, different world, man. Different world. I don't know if it's better though. Oh, I didn't it's say better. It's, it's, ter- it's terrible sometimes. Um, I, I agree with you there. Uh, uh, Thunder Arrow says that uh, nobody is a four. Uh, nobody is a forty-year-old plus man's power fantasy. Um, I guess I could see how you say that, but I don't think so. I think it's more of a, uh, more of a man who uh, thought he wanted something. And it's really not who he is. And it's more of a cathartic release to what he's best at. Uh, I think that's what it's more uh, doing, which is speaking to an older audience for sure. It's a, in a, in a way, a midlife crisis, I guess, uh, just on a rather peculiar and specific way. Uh, I don't know if it's a power fantasy, though. It's because it's not really all about the death and violence, uh, Thundero. It's more about him, right? And I'm sure the, I mean, the body count in the end, it was probably higher than John Wick, I guess. But the consistent body count in, in John Wick is much more well, consistent, you know. Uh, but uh, whatever, I could be wrong. You guys should check it out and tell me. Uh, Joe says, a copper, a copper. How do you like that, boys? A copper and his name is Fallon. And we went for it. I went for it. Treated him like a kid brother. And I was going to sp- Split 50-50 with a copper. He's referring to police officers there, Kima, for my uh, my uh, Canadian cousin here. Uh-huh. We, we call them coppers in America. Okay. Well, that's what we call them. Yeah, I'm being... So not pigs? No, no, no. That was later. That's later uh, 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 terminology. <laughs> yeah. They call them coppers because of the uh, uh, little copper uh, badge they had. You know, they're coppers. Makes sense now that you think about it. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, I was bored for 75% of it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So it, 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 uh, I love the the part you were bored with is what I love most. Uh, John Wick, uh, on the other hand, was enthralling from the beginning to end. Yeah, it's a fun movie. I'm not taking anything away from John Wick. I love John Wick. I just, I prefer this movie. Um, and the thing, that, the things that bore you were interesting to me, I think. Uh, so there could be an age thing on it. It could be. It could be. Uh, or maybe it I'm comes out to an age and attention span for sure. Oh, yeah. Or it could just be sophistication. I love the good, bad, and the ugly, but mm-hmm. a young person watches that. They're like, what is this? Man, I I thank you, movie. Eric, for catching that. Nobody pays attention anymore. <laughs> um, uh, but, yeah, the good, the bad, and the ugly is a great movie, dude. That's awesome. Do people get bored with that movie? Really? Sometimes. I, 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 I don't. Like it. uh, it's a great movie. Is that, movie. Yep. Is that how we talk about how uh, the generation doesn't get nuance, right? They don't get how you're nuance. supposed to appreciate the, uh, for me, the quiet because... moment. Yeah, it's no, that that's it. true. Yeah, the silence is is oh. the most important thing sometimes. Um, uh, Thunder says, uh, Owner Kirk is about as imposing as a gnat, way too small. If women beating up men is unbelievable, a 135-pound uh, man beating up four men at once uh, is, as, is as bad. Well, I do believe it was five men, not four. Uh, but, um, uh, but he's also much more believable fighting. I mean, he, uh, John Wick doesn't take hits, dude. He took hits, lots of it. It's more about toughness and, and technique, and that's kind of the point. It was it's trying to be a little bit more realistic, but uh, I think Thundero, the fighting aspect was put in there for you know to have action in the movie, but it's not the point of the movie. The the you could take the violence out of that movie completely, and you still get the point. It's not about the action. 
uh, 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 I I think. Um, but yeah, no, John Wick is a great movie, dude. Yeah, I, I enjoyed. You guys like John Wick? Yeah, I yeah, love that movie. Reminds yeah, me good of the old John Wick movies. Yeah, it's really good fun. Yeah, I love it too. Uh, the Good, Bad, and the Ugly is a masterpiece, Thunder. You're right. And uh, Dumbs the Name says, too many MCU films. That's fair. True. And I agree with that part. Uh, Pablo says, I have a friend that got bored with The Godfather. What? Oof. No way. No, wow. Actually, yeah. Because that actually... People lie their own head. Yeah, but that is one of the best of the movie. movies in history, though. The pacing in that movie is impressive, dude. It does keep you. But it's like Blade Runner. The original Blade Runner. I, a lot of people get bored with it. And I'm like, wow. See, I love that movie. But the only reason I'm not a big fan of The Godfather is just because I'm not a big fan of that kind of style, that cinema genre is all. Sure. And we're doing it today. Here you are doing it. But I'm not doing that, am I? <laughs> Joe said he did not in, uh, uh, enjoy The Godfather. And it's, it, it insists upon itself, Peter Griffin. Um <clears throat> Yeah, I guess. But it, what is that? Is that Coppola or is that uh, Scorsese? Who's the one who did that one? Cool. They're both kind of the same, in yeah. my opinion. They are a bit full of themselves. Uh, Joe so, says, uh, well then, movie. Peter, what do you like? I like the money pit. I wish I could do a Peter. Such a good voice. It's too bad. Mm -hmm. Peter. What kind yeah, of Peter right. are we talking about? Uh... We're talking about Peter oh, Griffin, of course. Um, it's too, it's too well, bad that Peter McFarlane... Griffin. Can you? Well, then you should read that uh, from Joe. Uh, but it's too bad that uh, 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 McFarlane is such a twat, because he's actually pretty funny. He's an idiot. He Family is... guy isn't funny. Don't, don't lower yourself, Chester. Don't lower yourself in front of the people. I'm sorry. I apologize. What's funny? Indians driving in cars? Well, yeah. You're going the <laughs> you wrong way, that. Hamid. Hamid, right? Right. Samir, Hamid, like... you're breaking the car. <laughs> Triple caution. <laughs> <laughs> now that's comedy. <laughs> it is funny, dude. It is well, funny. Indians just yelling at each other. I rediscovered the video where they're just screaming, you bloody bastard bitch. Fuck you, bloody. They're just screaming these words that they don't know. It's great. Yeah, I know. That's, that's fair, yeah. Uh, you know, how is it, though, I mean, because we have a whole planet full of different cultures and people, and how is it that the Indians are the only ones that shake their heads side to side? How oh, the little happen? Indian bob. Yeah, I actually had a guy do that to me once. I had to I had to stop myself from cracking up laughing. It was so, it's so funny. It's, it's instinctual. They do it naturally, yeah. Um, but it's like, how did that happen? Nobody else on the planet has that. Because every time they fucking do it, I imagine them going. Doo, doo, doo. <laughs> I'm going doo, 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 doo. Would you like some bob oh, with the curry? Oh, no. As they're bobbing. Yeah, it's oh, like, shit. Oh. I do love me some curry, though. Uh, uh, masala, right? You love good. Uh, I well, love dude, good I, I like curry, the dude. Nepalese masala is best, though. Ooh. I like that. Yeah. I'm actually not the hugest right. fan of the English curry. Uh, I like the idea of it, though. Um, but the uh, the uh, the Nepalese masala is amazing, dude, and their naan is better too. The Indians are great people, other than shitting in the street. But oh, dude, and trying to scam me out of the credit card. Seven... <laughs> They'll run a damn good Seven <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, and... they do. They do. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, no, the Indians are the longest running cons uh, 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 existing culture on the planet, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Uh, they they've done a lot of great things in their in their time, that's for sure. Wish they would clean their shit up a little bit, but oh well. Boom boom. Oh, well. Yeah. Me about Thank you. Somebody's paying attention. Um, anyway, booster. Hello, sir. How was your How was your nap? Oh, it's alright. Oh all right. shit. That's oh good. no. Uh, last night I tried to go to bed early. I ended up waking up after three hours, wide awake, and kind of went, "Oh fuck." Yeah, that happens. Dad for a wee while, do some old editing. Chester, I had to come in here and tell Joe Maroney that I'm that guy. I don't like Blade Runner. And you want to know why? Sure, go ahead. Because it insists upon itself. It does. <laughs> but you didn't do it with the Peter voice, so you just... I'm not... I can't, do, I can't do a Quahog accent. I can't do it. That's you. That's, that's your people. It's Quahog, sir. Quahog. 
Go off. How do you do it? How do you do it, Peter? If it is my people. Peter it's Peter funny, dude. Because like... <laughs> it is my people. I'm from Rhode Island, right? I even know where Quahog is. That's sad. No, actually, Blade Runner is a masterpiece too. The problem is, it was such a masterpiece. They tried to turn it into all sorts of other stuff, and it's none of it's ever worked. The sequel didn't really work for me, um, and all the other things I've ever seen they've done with it has just. There's just something about the way he did that first movie that is a masterpiece. It's hard to replicate. It is good. Uh, Peter uh, uh, was trying to come out of you, Booster. Have you figured it out yet? I don't know. I think I'm a fraud. Maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. 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 No, Booster and I watch Nobody Together, and we both just kind of lost interest in it. I mean, it's fine. It's not a bad film at all. It's just... It's the it's same a, guy who did John Wick, out of 10. and here's what it felt like to me. It felt like this was the movie he wanted to make, and the studio turned it into John Wick. And John Wick's the better version. That's what it felt like to me watching it. Like, I was, like, just less interested. Plus, Odenkirk, amazing actor, no question, but he's, he's just not... not he's <laughs> not a badass. And I can't buy it. I just can't. It's like watching Scarlett Johansson... Just kick the shit out of dudes all by herself or something, right? Like, kick them across the room. Stuff like that. It's just it's stuff like that doesn't what, work. It's like watching Dad try to put on a Clint Eastwood voice. It's like, what are you doing, Dad? You're embarrassing me. <laughs> Maybe it is a, an age thing. <clears throat> it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I even said that, Booster, if you remember. It, it feels like a, yeah. a power fantasy for, like, 40, 50-year-old men. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> see, I didn't see that at all. I don't. I don't get that out of it at all. I, I. I think the action it was put in there for movie purposes. Uh, the action could be taken out of that movie completely, and there's a story there. Where if John you would have made him, if you would have made him like Death Wish, where he's or or a movie with like a gunslinger, right? He's just a nasty marksman. And that's it. I would have been there. I'd have believed it. But the oh, fact that they tried to make him into a martial artist was ridiculous. Because he looks, he moves like an old man. He looks like an old man in half the times when he's moving. And then there's scenes where he just overpowers men half his age that are clearly fifty pounds heavier than him. And it's I just can't Dude, I, I can't go with this. He gets thrown can't around. He gets torn up, mm-hmm. broken a yeah. lot. And then he walks back into that bus, and a guy and literally four overpowers a guy with one hand. Oh, fair. Um, but <laughs> did, did, it's just did, a movie, though, right? I mean, it, it is just a movie, but that's all right. We, we I mean, can, it's okay. We but can we talk about can't it. say it's unrealistic when it's a woman, and then say it's realistic when it's a sixty-year-old Odenkirk. Because yeah, but see, the for me, the intentions were different. The woman is trying to say, "Look how tough I am. I'm as good as a man." This had nothing to do with that. This had. I nothing think this to do with was that. trying to say, "Look how cool we can make John Wick as well." No. No, I think you missed it, like. dude. I really think you do. He's it's kind of like um, insane. He is insane. John Wick is not yeah. insane. This guy is off his freaking rocker. Well, He's I don't know. Insane. I'd say insane. Killing that many people over a dog. It doesn't sound like a sane well, response. <laughs> his dead wife gave him the dog, so I understand that. But yeah. he kills like forty people because of it. Yeah, but a you know what of, I mean. A though. lot of people fucking die for that movie. That movie <laughs> is not about his. That is that movie. John Wick is about badass. No, I know what you're saying. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think it's a bad movie at all. I think it's Trino, fine. He's not gonna... That's why, to me, John Wick is the perfect revenge movie, right? Yeah, because it has its establishing moment within the first ten minutes, and that's uh, the other thing. Yeah, plot idea. Within ten minutes, then it's fucking going, and then over fifty fucking people die in that movie. It's, it's shit, dude. I would say that's the other issue I have with it is it is it takes too long, and it's not because you know I, I, oh he's younger and he doesn't like no I love old movies I watch them all the time because they take a long time, but this one kind of meanders in the right at the start. Like, they could have cut off about five, ten minutes of that beginning part before anything really happens, and it would have been the exact same movie, probably, but only a little bit better pacing. Yeah, no, I really think you missed the point, dude. I really do. Uh, that <laughs> is the most important part of the movie. The, that action shit at the end, you don't even need it. 
And the only thing cool about that is Christopher Lloyd blowing people's heads off. That's the cool part of the action. Um, I did. I did like seeing that. He looked like he was having a bit of fun. He did. Silly. It kind of ruined the tone of the movie for me because at at the start of the movie, it was taking itself very seriously. Then at the end of it, you got Christopher Lloyd in the middle of right. a uh, all out gunfight, looking like a lost old man <laughs> with a big smile. Like Joe somehow, Biden, big grin, baby. Big grin. Some, uh, somehow he hasn't been blasted to bits, but you know what? It's Christopher Lloyd. Let him have it. He's the best. Yes. Yeah. He's an actual legend. He is. He is. Uh, but uh, the chat's definitely having opinions, too. I think they're both really good movies. I love John Wick. I uh, can't wait for the next one. But I can't wait for the next Nobody, either. I want it. I want are it. Are they making it. one? Oh, yeah. Did it yeah, make enough are. money to make another one? They did. They did. Good. Uh, no, I, I'm fine with that. I want Odin Kirk to have all the work in the world. And like I said, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. It just... Mm. I, at the end of it, I felt like I watched a knockoff John Wick movie. I know. And that's... I'm not, not against that. I love the John Wick formula. Uh, I wish there was more movies like that. There was for a while, and then they just kind of died off. And then John Wick kind of brought them back. Just action, revenge, or whatever you want to call them. Right. Movies. And I like that they're back. And in 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 not like in a B-movie way. They're in a more mainstream way. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Well, I, I, I really want the chat and the panelists here, uh, the artists today, I want you guys to check it out and give me your opinion. Because uh, I one of the things I loved about it was it's not John Wick. It's it's not even trying to be John Wick. That's one of the things I loved about it, actually. Um, I, think, I really think you should go watch it again with a different eye. I really do. Um, because it's not, it's really, really not John Wick. It's not. I know, that's, that's its problem. John Wick's no, superior. No, I think it's a, its yeah. own thing. Uh, and I would say I would say the original Death Wish movies are are superior to John Wick, and they're basically the same idea. It's freaking Charles oh, Bronson, I, John, dude. John that's Wick. not well, fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> not that's fair. It's an old school John Wick movie. That's all they are. They're literally just the old school John Wick and Fat movies made into they are, American. They movies. are. Yeah, that's all yeah, John Wick is. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of those movies took inspiration from like Bronson and Eastwood. They're more yeah, modern not. movies. And John Wick was good, but I don't think it's as good as Hard Boiled, for instance. You know what I mean? It's, it's no, not on that level I'm not good. saying it is. I'm saying in, in comparison to nobody, it's the superior you know, version. Yeah, it's it's more I'll sellable because it. it's got a white guy in it, though. Yeah. Well, he's part well, Asian. He's part Asian. Yeah. He, you wouldn't know that, though, unless somebody told you. Yeah. That's fair. He's got a little bit of the uh, in the eyes. You got you to so pay though. attention to that. Got to give him credit, though. He worked real hard on that, man. Good good on you, Keanu. He, st he still does. The, the thing I like about Keanu is he works incredibly hard in his movies. I mean, besides the fact that he's seemingly a very decent man. Yeah. Uh, he works incredibly hard, and he actually commits to it. So what I mean by that is he, like, goes and trains in how to use firearms. He did for years yeah. for these movies so that it looked proper when he was doing it didn't look like a movie it looked like a guy actually knowing how to do it right and he took and he brought Haley with him and she yeah. got on board with it did the training and look how awesome she was in that third movie that's right. how you do that shit that's how you do that ladies you do that you put the work in you don't show up and say i'm a woman i can do anything that's bullshit right and you can actually find videos on youtube of him going to the range with Haley and then practicing that yeah, I appreciate. Cool. I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate it uh, because that's what you need to do, man. You, you know, hone your craft. Anyway, uh, and uh, uh, Pablo, of course, is saying he can believe Cynthia Rothrock uh, kicking guys' butt. Yeah, because she sells it. <laughs> well, she sells it, right? She also had really nice thighs, so that helped. Well, I mean, you, you know, I didn't believe. Those three fucking kids from Three Ninjas. Fuck that movie. Yeah, fuck them, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's one of my favorite movies. Or Chris Farley <laughs> is a ninja. <laughs> that's bullshit. Listen, I don't know who came up with Ninja Turtles, but they're crazy people. I don't think turtles could do any of that. No, neither do I. Preposterous. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> unrealistic. You want to talk about realism in my movies? What is all this damn thing about talking Ninja Turtles? That's that's just ridiculous. And a, and a mouse? A big old rat sensei? What? A big old rat. Yeah, huh. yeah. that's outrageous. <laughs> outrageous. Uh, Get out of here with this. Actually, yeah, I no, that's like right, that. Dumpsonade. Nobody is not to be taken seriously. No, it's not. 
It's not. Uh, uh, Ninja yeah, Turtles supposed to be fro- k- uh, doing face kicks and throwing around dudes that are 300 yeah. pounds? Come on. Matter of uh, fact, get out of here. The thing with Dumb's the name, uh, uh, his point here about nobody, uh, is uh, you could even look at that movie as it's all in his head. It's the it's it, you know it possibly possibly that he's just sounds an awful awful adapted. lot like a power fantasy to me. Yeah, but it's not our <laughs> power <laughs> fantasy. That's his power fantasy. Well, yeah, but Chester, you relate to him. You are him. You're an old dad. Fair. Fair. That's that's the total disconnect here. It's just an it's a age gap thing maybe well, it's, and again i don't think it's bad at all i think it's fine i think it was perfectly fine i didn't dislike it i didn't hate it there wasn't a bunch of woke nonsense in it uh and it was just a movie and i'm okay with just movies i like just i in fact quite enjoy just movies yeah, also no. that dude yeah. from the wu-tang clan got a triple headshot with a sniper rifle and that shot was rad it yeah, was, was dude cool. i don't know who that's the hell why i'm he telling was, you but it was cool yeah they should have just went with their badass, badass, like gu- full on gun fu. They should have just been badasses with guns instead of having him be a kung fu guy. It would have worked way better. I think I would have liked it way more because I'd have been able to believe it more. I'd have been able to be immersed in it more. Yeah, well. But every time Odenkirk started kicking people's ass barehanded, I'm like, come on. <laughs> I'm like, this is Saul, man. I don't believe Saul can do this. I don't buy it. Uh, well, I, I, I bought it, uh, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, who who was the big black dude? When I was hearing his voice on the radio, I thought I thought it was Forrest Whitaker. And then I was like, oh, that's not Forrest Whitaker. It sounded like Forrest Whitaker. Who is that guy? That's not Forrest Whitaker. He doesn't have a wonky eye. No, he doesn't. Forrest does have a wonky eye. That's but who true. was that dude? Um, um, he- RZA. <laughs> um, that doesn't help me. Yeah, he, he's an American rapper, and he was... The de facto leader of the hip hop group Wu Tang Clan. Well, he's not in the movie much, but what he's in there is fine. It wasn't bad. Yeah, yeah. No, he does a good job. Oh, everybody does a good job. It just couldn't. It the disconnect. I couldn't be pulled into it. So the parts where, you know, they're doing like world building or whatever, I just lost interest because I wasn't pulled in. Whereas in John Wick, I was pulled in almost immediately, largely because I understand the motivation. Kill my motherfucking dog! I dare you. Yeah, you no, better that's fair. hope yeah, they I get, get to me first. I get that. <laughs> uh, but uh, <clears throat> I would suggest going into this movie, it's not John Wick, guys. It's not even trying to be. Oh. Uh, don't think of it that way. Uh, but uh, check it out and let me know what you think. Uh, uh, one Tell thing is definitely true. It's a fun, straight movie with zero politics in it, and that's that's nice. It's refreshing. And right? it's a good, like, not for kids, but like an older family-style movie. I mean, it, that's what it's about. Right, it reinforces, you know, the importance of his family and everything. That's kind of what drives him there. Right. At the beginning, a little—it's not even really a spoiler, but at the beginning, he hesitates because he was pr- protecting his family, trying to keep from drawing them into his world. And, um, also, and it could yeah. very well have been, like Chester said, that could have all just been a big delusion. Yeah, could have just been a big delusion because there's no no way it could. I mean, there's nothing in there that says it's not, but there's nothing that says it is. Except the fact that at the beginning he doesn't protect his family, he kind of lets his son, he literally lets his son get punched in the face, and that could have just been he snapped right and he just had a delu- and it was a delusion. That's per- per- totally possible, but if that isn't what they were doing, then it was just a mediocre action movie, which there's nothing wrong with. We need more mediocre action movies, I think. Yeah. Well. Uh, I did like the way they played it out, though, whereas his first fight scene, he's very rusty uh, and he takes a lot of damage. And by the end, he's kind of sh- shaking that rust off and he's he's doing much better. He's much smoother, um, uh, yeah. which they, they I think they they laid that out well. You know, Booster, what um what movie did you say you saw that was very similar or at least had a similar tone or theme or whatever? Was it the wrath of man? Is that what it was? The oh, state it, movie? It's not, I don't think it was that similar, but it, I still enjoyed wrath of man a lot. What I've been trying to say is that nobody only had a budget of 16 million. That's actually quite impressive. It's good. It, we yeah. need, uh, looks good yeah. for uh, how low that budget is. Lots of cameos. I love seeing Michael Ironside. He's fat, but I was very happy to see him. Yeah, that's uh, not good, man. His age, he's got a, ooh. He's gonna kill himself. You know that. You know he's lived a good life. Um, I gotta look it up. I, I could swear that he's passed away. 
I don't know. Maybe he got this no, done. He, before he's he definitely in that movie. <laughs> he's definitely Probably. in it. Yeah. Yeah. I literally pointed. I said, "Oh, ooh, Sam Fisher," because <laughs> yeah. he was Sam Fisher. No, he's alive. I was wrong. The history of violence is way better than that. these uh, video game movies, says Elrod. Um, now, why is it you? Uh, you guys know this movie, but I don't recall this movie. Who's in this uh, history of violence? History of violence. Uh, Vito Mortensen. Uh, oh, Vigo. Uh, I like Vigo. He's not a comic book. Goodbye. Hey, I have to uh, check guys, it out. Uh, you guys say it's good. No, it's... I'm sorry, guys. Uh, man, I, I might not be able to stay a little longer. I'm sorry, guys. It's just my... I'm hurting right now. Why? Um, I'm in a lot of pain, dog. Why? Uh, Broke his legs. Horse, he talked about the gang. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, that. Probably. And my ankle hurts like hell. Ugh. So, do like everyone else does and uh, smoke weed. Don't have weed uh, at the moment. At the moment. Uh-huh. There it is. <laughs> I knew it. Is Part his of, name Morkinson yeah. or Mortensen? That's interesting. Morkinson. It's Mortensen. It is Vigo. odd to me how Vigo just kind of like fell off the map. Shame, because I've always thought he's a great actor. Yeah, I did yeah, like him. Not, uh, what was that was horse movie green he was book. in? The Green oh, Book. Right. I haven't seen that one. I saw him in that Elder horse movie. That was good. That was a good movie. That was, yeah. Oh, that sounds cool. Uh, I'll, I'm sorry, guys, about leaving early. Oh, God. Carry yourself. Don't worry about it. Okay. Bye, guys. Later, JC. Later, man. Later, JC. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hey, little, um, little rascal. Mwah. You <laughs> silly little shit. Ed freaking Harris. Uh, yeah. The crazy thing about Vigo is he's a pretty legit outdoorsman. Like, he's a... Uh, 100% like he knows how to do all that stuff for real. He knows horses, he knows all of it for real. So he can, he when he's in those type of movies, he doesn't need as much, you know, help as most actors do. And I've always liked him. I've always, it's a shame that he doesn't get more work. Yeah, Elrod, Hidalgo. Uh, I like Yeah, that. Hidalgo. That was a good movie, dude. I liked it. It is a good movie. Yeah. I'll have to check out this history of violence then. You know, I don't know. Um, I do it. like the, uh, but then again, you know, the history of violence from the couple of things I've heard here, it sounds like it's a serious movie. We're not talking about serious movies here. We're talking about popcorn flicks. Yeah, fun movies. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and I like both. I enjoy both, but they're, they're not in the same category, I think. He was Aragon. Where to go from there? Fair enough, Joe. Uh, and he did a good job as Aragon. Uh, I, I I believed it. Although My I problem was... with the history of violence was there wasn't enough violence in it. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. It was like a uh, what's that other movie? Uh, there will be blood. I'm like, Where, where's the blood? There's like one scene. Yeah. Now you want to talk uh... about overrated people? Yeah. Let's get into that guy. Uh oh. Daniel Day Lewis. Boy. Daniel oh. Day Lewis, boring <laughs> ass, boring, boring fuck. Whoa! <laughs> this he has, so he <laughs> has one fun movie, and it's called Last of the Mohicans, and it's epic. Everything else is like. <sighs> you don't like Gangs of New York? No, that was good, but that's not his I was movie. About to though. Say, that's not his New York movie. Like awesome. That's DiCaprio's movie. He doesn't get that one. Lincoln, like Lincoln? boring as shit. Boring. Yeah, like the line where he says, "I drink your milkshake." Boring, <laughs> stupid. <laughs> and the guy's like, "Stop bullying me." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've never. I mean, I, uh, Daniel Lewis is good, well enough, but uh, I've never understood the greatest actor I ever lived. Please, dude, please. <laughs> Bring show bring any Anthony Hopkins as soon as he walks on the screen and tell me that this dude is better than that. That's a movie I want. I want those I keep, two against I each other. I keep watching that right. fucking line where he says, I drink your milkshake, and I'm trying to figure out why people <laughs> like that movie, because that that is the most ridiculous acting I've seen in my life. Uh, I yeah. drink your milkshake, and my straw goes all the way over here. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, Daniel Day Lewis. He's, he's, he's completely ridiculous in that scene. It's silly. 
It is silly, dude. And Lincoln is boring as hell, Jeff. It's very boring. And it's practically a puff piece for America's first tyrant. But we won't get into that, Booster. We'll, or we'll stay out of that. Yeah, we will. Stay out of that. We You're not allowed to that. talk about that guy. Booster, he, he has more names than lacks. you. Hmm? Daniel Day-Lewis has more names than you. Oh. The, the Naked Lunch. Now, that that's not... That's not Daniel Day Lewis. That's the uh, Warlock guy. Daniel Michael Blake Day Lewis. Jesus Christ, man. That's his whole name. Like, yes. what are you doing, Brits? Knock it off. Yeah, well, you know, I, I really can't talk because my name is rather ridiculous. However, <laughs> fair, fair point. Uh, the, the Naked Lunch, I think, was the uh, Warlock guy. It wasn't Daniel Day Lewis, was it? Let me check it. I remember, I remember the movie. Yeah, it was weird. It was cool. It was perfect for that warlock guy. I it was, remember it his was, name. Yeah. Um, let me check it here. I just remember him as the warlock guy as well. <laughs> yeah, the, the warlock guy. But it's cool. It's good and creepy, dude. It was neat. Uh, let's see. That's got um, uh, it's got Peter Weller in it. It's got Roy Scheider. It's got Julian Sands. That's him. Boom. He's so then, he's the yeah. warlock guy. Yeah, I don't see Daniel Day Lewis in this at all. Yeah, I don't. He's not in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a the interesting, uh, interesting flick though. It's a first of all, it's Peter Weller as a detective. <clears throat> do do I have to say anything else? Honestly, uh, it's got Julian Sands in it, way over the top as usual. Uh, it's got a little bit of Ro uh, Roy Scheider in as well, and it's got some other people. It's got Judy Davis. She does a pretty good job. Uh, that's a movie you should that check out. Creepy. That is weird and creepy flick, dude. Hey, it's fantastic. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It is creepy though, but that uh, that Sands guy, he's good at creepy, man. He really makes your skin crawl. Yeah, Julian Sands, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, Chester Kiwi, what's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> uh, Chester Kiwi, that the uh, loser gets half your shit in the divorce. Oh, that's fair enough. He doesn't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to I got do nothing off of we we need a prenup. That's all I got to say about it. Ah, damn it. They always <laughs> trick you with the prenup. They always Every get you with the prenup. Yeah. Anthony <laughs> Hopkins was easily the best part of the Thor movies too. Yeah. Easily. Him as Odin was amazing. Yeah. Well, dude, amazing. You are crazy. He, he just vain self boy. Yes, yeah. was true. Well, he can just and He calls stand him a boy. Boy. He boy. 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 <laughs> but you guys yeah. seen other what? We've seen what? Father with Anthony Hopkins, I think, last year. No, but I heard it was really good. I haven't seen that one yet. It is a I beg to differ, to Father. Here, have some candy. And the best part about Anthony Hopkins is not only is he a great actor, but he's one of those guys who's so good that you can kind of forget it's him in the right role. Like, when he's Odin, he's Odin. Yeah. That's it. It's not Anthony Hopkins as Odin. He is Odin. He takes on all the authority and prestige and power and majesty that Odin w should command, and he just owns it. I love it. It's what makes those movies. That's the only reason I really like those movies is because him. Or he's freaking he's Hannibal just so good. Yeah. And, and then when he's Hannibal yeah, Lecter, he's just, just Hannibal Lecter. What a yeah. movie. <laughs> and yeah, he is in the Transformer movie, but he's also really cool in it. Um, he's Hello, just one of those Clammies. dudes that doesn't need to say a damn word, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Correct. He's, he's amazing. I'm just saying that people are Daniel Day, Daniel Day Lewis is a great actor. He's boring, is what he is, uh, and he's pretentious as <laughs> shit. You ever seen an interview with Anthony Hopkins? He can literally laugh at himself and make dirty jokes. Go watch him on the Craig Ferguson show. It's freaking awesome, dude. Warlock I was a that. fantastic movie. Yes, it was. Yes, is it was it Gangs of New York where Daniel Day Lewis refused to take some kind of fucking uh, vaccine or something and almost fucking died on set. Because Probably. uh yeah. because it wasn't around at uh that year. Oh. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, he yeah. Yeah, he's an idiot. I like dude. it. I like it. I like that persistence. Respect it. <laughs> no, he almost died. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, listen, you gotta know what's yes, worth for dying for. Pity for reason. <laughs> <laughs> listen, it's only petty if you die That's from a it. Shit reason. It's the way like <laughs> fucking Bob Molly died. Don't die for a shit reason. Yeah, why? How did Bob uh, Bob Marley die? Apparently, he had like a fucking a preventable disease. Could have lopped his toe, but he's like, "No, nah, man, that's against my religion." And he just like 
kind of died instead. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Good on. Or was that something I heard? That's probably, I don't know. That's probably I have no There idea. is no I thought, greater. I thought he shot the sheriff and, you know, then, then he got killed by the deputy or something. Booster, hey, there is no greater honor in this world than to choose the way you die. Yeah. Because most people don't get to. Yeah. That's kind of gay. That's, Once again, that's only Eric that. is paying attention. That's. Yeah. <sighs> I, 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 I know that I know that song, uh, Chester. I just it was a, it was a shit joke. It wasn't. It was. It was perfectly timed. That was just and a, poignant. That was just a reference. No, just, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't know to tell uh, you. <laughs> Uh, Joe says, Chester, Besides, I why would he go to jail for? wasn't Day Lewis. Uh, I was riffing uh, uh, on not enough blood in There Will Be Blood or enough violence in a history of violence. There was nakedness in Naked Lunch, but that wasn't the point. Ah, I see. There was some muff in History of Violence, too. I, I will give it that. Some muff? Oh, okay. Do they still use it was, that word? Yeah. I thought that was an old-fashioned so, word. Hell yeah, I looked it up. Daniel Day-Lewis uh, got some nasty fucking pneumonia, and he refused the medicine for pneumonia because uh, the medicine for it wasn't around at this period of time in this movie. Yeah, yeah, he's 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 very full of himself. He that's, takes uh, that gets in the character. Yeah, I that's gets for really being the best dumb. actor ever. I guess. It's like, it's like when Jared Leto tried pulling that shit. <laughs> you oh, know, God, he's, he's like, "Oh, I'm a crazy man. I'm the Joker. I'm crazy. What? I send snakes to people. Ooh, I'm crazy." Who who is Leto? What has he ever done anything good? Name it. Um, like, I thought Fight Club was, was the best in, thing he was in. I thought he was good in Fight Club. I thought he was good in uh, Man of the Record. What do you call it? Uh, something of War. Was Lord of War? I thought he was good in oh, that, Dallas that, Buyers yeah. Club. He played a good tranny. Who did he play in Fight Club? Club? Yeah, a little bo- blonde bimbo that gets his fucking face turned in the pudding by uh, that uh, <laughs> by American X. Wants to uh, destroy something beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> to You're too fucking blonde. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. He gets his face absolutely mm-hmm. turned to pudding. See, to me, that's who Jared Leto is. Who's Jared Leto? That's pudding. who he is to me. It's pudding. Yeah. He's just, uh, he's just, I never, re- I never know who he is Edward and Norton. literally Edward couldn't Norton. care less about his, his performances. He's never once grasped, grabbed me and been like, oh, this guy, this guy's got it. Yeah. No, never once. Now well, he might coming up in that Mobius movie. I hope that might so. happen. I hope so. I hope it's good. Um, uh, Antonio Banderas is an underrated actor. Jeff Potts says, "I would agree." That's true. I like Antonio. That's true. Yeah. Antonio Hopkins and Zorro. And uh, speaking of gangsters, oh, yeah. uh, he was uh, he was in a, a pretty good gangsterish movie there with Desperado. Yeah, with Desperado, yeah. Antonio Banderas. And, and it was it was I mean, you have to be sexy with a name like that. You must, or else hey, the world will mock you true. forever. Yeah, it's like, what, what are you doing? Why you, Why do you exist? Get why aren't you pretty? Get right. away from me. Yeah. Change your name. With your fat face. <laughs> right, right. Um, my favorite Antonio movie is 13th Warrior. Love it. Pretty good. It is a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. I like Spy Kids, too. <laughs> oh, you bastard. You <laughs> bastard. All right. <laughs> you know, the funny thing yeah. is, as bad as that movie was, it makes uh, Artemis Fowl look epic. Same premise, right? <laughs> it, it's been for I, I think I've mine it, is, but I love Spy Kids. Mine is either the first Zorro movie uh, that was good that, he is, that he's in, or uh, Des- Hopkins, or Desperado. By the way, yeah, or Desperado. Desperado is just awesome. It's a it great awesome. action movie. It's ridiculous. Pure it's machismo. utterly preposterous. Yeah. but it's pure machismo. And my God, is she hot in that movie? Good Lord. Oh, yeah, she is, dude. <laughs> she smoke is. show, smoke show for sure. Uh, I love the, I love the, uh, the little uh, uh, Cheech Marin there, and he says, "What's in the guitar box? Uh, guitar case? <laughs> the guitar? The bartender <laughs> leaves. <laughs> bartender never gets killed." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, Cheech, have you ever seen Desperado? Uh, I have not. 
Oh, how oh, are that's, the that's uh, getting correction. a correction. Of course, of course, Spy Kids 3D is the best Spy Kids movie. <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty true. Actually, <laughs> no, it's not. That's a terrible movie. <laughs> it's about Ooh, as Ricardo good as Mata Lava Mata. Girl and Shark Booster? Boy. <laughs> Booster, you need to watch Desperado, and then you can have an opinion on Spy Kids. Until then, I can't. I can't. It's un, it's not accepted. Taking, you're getting it back. Giving it right back to you. See, Jeff says well, that Thirteenth uh, uh, Warrior uh, is based off of Eaters of the Dead. The book is also great. Well, that might be true, but uh, basically, it's based off of Beowulf. So, you well, know. pretty much everything's based off of Beowulf. I mean, that ain't fair. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Every monster movie ever made is based off of Beowulf loosely. Yeah, What's another well, thing that everything's based it off of? Like the beast. Is that uh, Joseph Campbell stuff? The uh, Hero's Journey, like that's like every movie. Yeah. You know what's a tragedy, Chester? You'll appreciate this. You know what's a tragedy that we've never had a proper epic of Gilgamesh movie. No, we have not. But, tragedy. Uh, they just found a new chapter. Did they? That's interesting. Yeah. Um, found it. You would think I would around? know that before you. That's weird. Um, Joe Maroney. The best part about that show. movie is that song is not in it. <laughs> well, one of the problems doing the Epic of Gilgamesh is the guy's like 10 foot tall. Hey, listen. Listen. I've watched Thanos, all right? They can make 10 foot tall dudes. Now? Yeah, now they can. Yeah. They could do that. Yeah, it's pretty that's pretty easy. I do that all the time. Like the that yeah. awesome epic movie called The Gods of Egypt. They did it in there too. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of yeah, my Yeah, but I know what you mean like uh so I love that movie. What was like those old Hercules movies? Yeah. You love Gods of Egypt? I know. It's a guilty pleasure, dude. I know it's not a good movie. So I you have a it. Richard C. Meyer taste in movies. That's I would movie. love it if it was a little bit better, just because I like the premise. But yeah. we yeah. don't get nice things anymore, Chester. We're just not, not permitted. No, no, that's true. Uh, it, it, and it had a lot of flack coming at it, too. Uh, I just, I don't I know it's not a good flick. I just like it. It's all right. Um, it looked like they're trying to sell toys, but didn't I? I couldn't tell. Oh, uh, maybe. I mean, uh, there's plenty of things that are designed to make uh, sell toys, though. Um, I, I'm not going to defend Gods of Egypt. I know it's not a great movie. I just like it. I know, what do you want? <laughs> I don't know what it is about it. It's just something I really like. You know, I, I like Gerard Butler a lot. He he's he's uh, uh I, I just really like Gerard Butler. Um, Me too. And he's uh, underrated. He is. And uh, the other guy did a really good job. I also like the aspect of it because the, what the thing people were complaining about made the least sense to me. The fact that they threw a couple of uh, uh, non-whites in there, but if you read the old Egyptian stories, they're all white. All the gods are white. They're white Wait giant people. With blue what eyes. is Jeff Pot saying to my face right now? Look at that comment. Who's to read that comment? Uh, which one? The one where he's quoting uh, the Big Lebowski? No, no, the one about Stallone. Oh, it's it's a it's Night a big one. This movie is a Nighthawks demolition man and stop on my oh my mum will shoot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh, okay. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. This guy, yeah. this guy over here. <laughs> Actually, it's interesting. What is your favorite guy, yeah. uh, Sylvester Stallone movie? Because for me, it's uh, Cobra. Cobra. Oh, for me, it was the parts of Rocky I stayed awake for. <laughs> you know, no. the, sad, the sad thing is that probably the best part of that movie was on the on the uh, editing room floor. They cut a lot of violence out of that. If they had let them make the movie they want, that would have been epic, dude. Yeah. It's a good movie. I like I, Tango and Cash, but I suppose that's not just a Stallone movie. Well, it's Kurt Russell. I have, a, I have to go with two movies. Two. First Rambo, because it's just yeah, it's exactly, awesome. Yeah. And Demolition Man. I, I yeah, love that's, Demolition that's Man. That's awesome. But Wesley Snipes is good in that as well. Yeah, that's the main reason. It, I mean, Stallone's great in it too, but Snipes movie. is just... He's everything. He's, He's so perfect. He is awesome. Yes. Yeah, he is awesome. <laughs> but, I mean, let's be fair, though. Uh, Rocky is the best movie he's ever made. I mean, technically. Yeah. yeah. Uh, objectively, except yeah, for objectively, for Booster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was objectively the most boring. I was going to ask you what you think. Yeah. Answer, but <laughs> no one of you know this movie, I'm assuming, so it doesn't really matter. Which one? I need what I'm doing. No one knows the movie. Unless you do, but I don't think anyone does. Johnny Handsome? 
I thought it was Johnny Hansen. Who the fuck is Johnny Hansen? I thought Rambo 4 was, like, dumb fun. I love that movie. It yeah, is dumb they're, fun. They're, they're fun. True. Yeah. That, that's the sad, kind of the sad thing, though, is because First Blood wasn't that. It was a serious no, movie. No, no. It was. Oh, no, the that... His uh, ending that monologue at the end, it's like Oscar worthy. That where he's, you yeah, know, that, really good. some of his best acting he's it ever done. Good. Yeah, I like the Nighthawks too, Jeff. It, it, it is a it is fun movie too. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Like I, like I, keep, I keep seeing Chinaman. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh sure, shit. Jeff. Rocky Five: Adrian's Revenge. Uh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I will fucking kiss you, Adrian. Give me a little Ooh, fucking yeah. smooch, Adrian. <laughs> I am the law. Why did no one say this yet? Why does it sound like Rocky broke what booster? What happened? I think. Why would you show me what love is, Adrian? He really didn't like Rocky. I don't know. I don't know. He just. It didn't. It didn't work for him. Something. Something about it just didn't. Uh, didn't ha- happen for me. He liked Rambo though. I can. I convinced I him to Rambo watch Rambo. Yeah, you like Rambo's very good. I enjoyed Rambo. Well, first blood. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good flick. Yeah. Um, and I'm really happy they didn't kill him off at the end because that was the plan originally. And I don't yeah, know so what Keenma is doing today. It's awesome. It's very different for what Keenma usually does. But uh, what are you doing, Keenma? It's King and Queen from the Royal Flush Gang. Oh, I didn't. Uh, you haven't finished it yet. Oh, okay, I see. I, from the animated series, I should have known. Yeah, that. no, we don't have the uh, uh, the card uh, the, uh, hearts or clubs yet. Okay. She got the um, Bruce Tim proportions. Oh my l- words! Goodness me, the Bruce Tim proportions down perfectly. It is beautiful. It is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> It is good. Uh, it always yeah. is. It's very different for what Kima does, though. It's neat. She's doing yeah, an homage I, today. I, I, I thought I'd do something different. It's good. I think this is an Asian fellow that Rabbit is doing. Is it Asian. an Asian fellow? I think it's an Asian fellow. It is. It's just a Japanese guy. I just haven't got around to fixing it up yet. Because sort of the you uh, would do something Japanese. Of course, I'm doing Japanese. I'm doing Kakahara. But no one Damn seems to have watched Ichi the Killer. So. Captain Canada. It's too late now, but that's. Uh, I would have done a uh, <laughs> oh, huge <laughs> tattoo. Oh, oh yeah, really cool. that'd have been cool. That's what I was saying. I really wish somebody yeah. uh, would do a Yakuza wife. Because it's a really cool idea. And, of course, hopefully someone is doing it in the draw-along. I hope you guys are doing that. It's over on hashtag DNQFE. Once again, hashtag DNQFE. Put that art in there. We want to check it out, guys. Uh, it it kind of looks like uh, the wrestler Kenta a little bit. With, well, he doesn't have that many scars, but oh, other than that. Yeah. I, I went through a binge of watching wrestling Royal Rumbles recently. Uh, I, I, I always enjoyed those. Uh, and uh, they brought in a, a Japanese guy. Uh, old, ugly, really ugly, goofy, silly Japanese guy called Nakamura. My God, it was cringe, cringe, cringe. So Shinsuke? cringe. Yes, cringe to the nth degree, dude. Chester doesn't like Shinsuke. I, I believe Chester doesn't like Shinsuke. That's why he likes nobody so much. Yep. Yep. Oh, we found a <laughs> So that's... No, they don't do Shinsuke correctly. When he was in Japan, they got him correctly. Somebody at that place has told him to just be a ridiculous caricature of himself. And since they <laughs> sign his checks, he's like, okay. So that's why he looks it's ridiculous. Okay. 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 Shinsuke, coming up. Yeah. Well, I, I recognize the goofy, silly... Uh, cringy Japanese crap he was doing. I think more that that might part, be part of it. Uh, it's so you know variety, dumb variety show, uh, manzai crap he was doing. Oh, I hate that shit, dude. Manzai. <laughs> Why did you move to Japan, Jester? Can you explain? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff I like here. I don't He's like. like listen, I, I I live here, but I hate everything about the culture. It's like That's if I was like living here and I was like, oh, I'm surrounded by weeps. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. That did happen. 
that did happen. That is true. Uh, I because I am surrounded by weebs. You know, the good thing is you don't ever have to worry about being cool here. That's a good thing. <laughs> oh, then sign me up. Yeah, you fit right You're in. You're in, Booster. All right, I'm going to make <laughs> myself some coffee. You guys keep talking about stupid-ass Nakamura. All right, okay. Nakamura. Okay, Nakamura. I don't know what a Nakamura is. What was the announcer's name from uh, MXC? Was it Guy LaDouche or something like that? Guy LaDouche. Yeah. Good old... Yeah. No, it was D LaDouche. D it was spelled guy, but pronounced guy because it was French. Ah, yes, because <laughs> he was French. Because of he was French, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah obviously. Duh. Jeez. No, that show was great. I loved. Uh, uh, when that first came out, I I literally binge watched the hell out of it because it just it was so dumb. It's so yeah. dumb, but it's hilarious. <laughs> it's well, so by today's juvenile. standards, it's like a. It's like a shit fucking thing someone on YouTube would <laughs> do. Yeah, it's pretty much just a YouTube show at this point, but yeah, it's a good one. It's a classic. I'm surprised something like that got greenlit, to be honest. It's like, look, me and my pals are going to get high as shit and just dub over this uh, crazy-ass <laughs> Japanese show. We're going to ruin all con. We're going to destroy all context. <laughs> and we're just going to talk some shit. And Doesn't matter, it's still good. Eliminated. <laughs> oh, but from the looks of it, though, it doesn't look like they're too far from what they're probably actually joking about. Right? It looked like super silly. Oh, yeah, it's Japanese. Yeah, yeah they have Japanese. a very silly culture. It's, it's like the Indians. They just, they can't help it. They're silly by default. <laughs> like, they can't help but it. But we love them anyway. They don't know what they're doing. Those, those silly Indians don't know what they're doing, when they, especially when they're yelling at each other. I've noticed they... from just an outside observation, Japanese humor is either perverted or very, very silly. There's no middle, from what I can see. That Maybe if I spoke Japanese, I would be able to find the, the middle, but I without the use of the language. <laughs> I think that's when it comes to anime, uh, the only shit I like is their serious stuff, because I just I can't stand Japanese humor. That shit. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's just like, oh, <laughs> shut up. It's greening my ears. Wait, but yet enemy. you like Pokemon. Explain. You leave my love for Pokemon out of this. <laughs> you leave my love for anime. <laughs> for, uh, for, no anime, Pokemon. Well, Pokemon's anime. Come on. Pokemon Time games are not anime. They're, they literally are, actually. They're a- animation. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Rock and mouth are pretty funny. <laughs> oh, I haven't uh, watched a Pokemon anime in years because, holy shit, they, uh, <laughs> they were always lame. Even as a kid, I thought the Pokemon uh, show was lame. But uh, watching clips of it recently, again, I've, I've come to really love James all over again. You know, James. <clears throat> but uh, you don't... Uh... Don't deny that you love the Pokemon song. Because I know you do. Which which one? You mean, I want to be the very yeah. best. I didn't n- need it sung, but yes. Or the, uh, or the recent Pokemon rap I've just discovered where he's like, I choose me, you choose me, Pokemon, Pokemon combat. I don't, I don't remember how it went, but it, <laughs> like a Pokemon I hope rap not. I, found. I really, really hope not like that. <laughs> I hope that wasn't it. <laughs> catch him all, Pokemon. There was, a, there was, a, no, uh, I'm not talking about that one. I found a new Pokemon rap, but that is a classic one where, where it's just the guy singing off all of the Pokemon names. Yeah. Right. Should we, should we, uh, should we find that song real quick and uh, see if we can do it? Uh, no. Yeah, no. I think we should. Mm-mm. Nope. This is a bad plan. Abort. Abort this plan. So, so it would go. I want to be the bear. <laughs> <laughs> be all the rest yeah that oh, i want to be the best it ever was to be all the rest yeah that's my cause electro diglet need a ran man key fade <laughs> oh my god you actually know it no i got the lyrics up <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. i'm a i'm a i'm a fraud he's a fake weeb 
a good ah uh, booster. You know what's throw, worse than go. a weeb? A what's fake that? weeb. Oh. oh. Makes you, Why would you a dweeb. Yeah. Oh, pretty much. Come yeah. on. Come on, man. Oh man, <laughs> don't be calling me that. This is his, this is his whole identity. <laughs> Weeb, dweeb, what am I... So, wait, what do you I call am? somebody, like, Booster, right? Booster's not American at all, yes. in fact. Yeah. Yet he loves American culture, like comic books. So, what is, is there a term for that? Because there should be. Um, I don't know, dickhead? I don't know. What, what, what <laughs> well, that's totally <laughs> irrelevant to this. That's yeah. a whole other issue with you. But Yeah, it is, yeah. I got, I got all sorts of problems. I don't know, does it fall... Does American culture just fall under Western culture, period, or? or a well, it does at the moment because it uh, dominate everything. We don't. We don't the have moment, real yeah. entertainment. There's nothing <laughs> about New Zealand. It's like, oh, what about Lord of the Rings? Yeah, it was over two decades ago. Yeah, that was an American movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And also, it's pretty much an American movie just shot <laughs> in New Zealand. Uh, I would like to come to New Zealand, though. I'd like to go to the Shire. That'd be pretty cool. Not to see Booster, because nobody wants to see that. Come on. Be honest, Come on, Booster. <laughs> Someone's going to want to see Booster. I know one person who does. Oh, yeah. One cute girl. Everybody yeah. gets one Aww. Booster. Uh, don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. So, uh... Where were Man, we Booster. So what's it like, uh... <sighs> Booster, what's... What's that like, Booster? What's that river like? What river? What? Denial. Oh. 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 Wow. Got him. I was going to ask Booster, where would he take her? If, if, uh... Ooh. What? We talk about Booster's sex life? Okay, I'll shut, yeah. up. I'll shut up and listen. <laughs> 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 So, Booster. Anytime you need pointers, Booster, I'm right here. Seeking, Jolteon, Dragonite, Ghastly, Ponyta, Vaporon, Volley, and Butterfree. Catch him, catch him. Serenator. Serenator. Chester, we were trying to figure out a term for a non-American like Booster who likes American comic books and culture. Because, you know, Japan gets weeb and all these others, mainly just weeb, but why isn't there one for America? I'd call him a Booster's Usafile. Not American. Usafile? That sounds, that sounds very illegal. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> kind of file? Anything with a file in it. We should just we should be very careful about anything. We should with probably the word retire file, file. Just retire the word itself. The whole just we'll just put it over there. I don't know if we need it. Yeah, it's just Popery. It just means love of. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Yeah, but some words just get ruined. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, like yeah. horsen. Yeah, listen, we retired horsen, which is a fantastic insult, and we kept file for some reason. This was a terrible trade. Who made that trade? That is fair yeah, enough. Is that is fair uh, enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, poor poor puppers. I every time I make my coffee, I, I get I get I feed my dog, and uh, <clears throat> his back legs really aren't working well, man. Aww. Yeah, oh boy. Oh, poor boy. Yeah, but oh well, they get old. Everything everything ends eventually. That's true. Mm. He's been a good dog though. He's a, a very good dog. He did his job one hundred percent. Yeah, it's he's really having trouble with his legs, and that's a bummer. I don't know what to do. There's nothing to do about it, I guess. Catch him, catch him, catch him all. Mm. Yeah, it happens. Unfortunately, my uh, I had this big old, big old husky. He's huge. Stand up on his hind legs, and he was as tall as me. Mm. And uh, that's basically what happened to him. But then, so his knees went out because he was so big. And we got, we actually got him fixed because he was younger, still. But then he got cancer in his ear. So, oh, that's not oh. good. Yeah. Problem is he doesn't jump well, but he still thinks he can, you know, because he's a dog. <laughs> and like he just made three attempts to get up on the couch. He made it though, because he like I have this really nice uh, uh, couch back here, right? And uh, he he really enjoys uh, sitting on the couch. 
and I, I, you know, he's a, because he's a schnauzer, I don't have to worry about fur and stuff. So he's allowed yeah. on the furniture. Right. And, uh, you know, took him three schnauzer. shots. He got it though. He got there though. That's good. Yeah. I'm very proud of him. Well, you know what he does is he brings his pillow from, because he has his own little pillow. He uh, grabs it in his mouth. He walks across and he jumps up. Uh, but the pillow is impeding him now. But he he won't he's not gonna let go of the pillow because he needs a pillow. No, no, right. Oh, don't don't talk uh, nonsense to him. Yeah, don't that's even try. Right. So he get up. Then once he's up, he puts the pillow down. He walks around it in a circle about ten times, and he lays down. Pretty quite clever, actually. I always thought it was kind of cute. He brings his own pillows uh, places. Yeah. Anyway, sorry I talk about my dog. Oh well. Eric, you sound like a dog person. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, I have two Yorkie poos. Aww, Yorkie poo. He he's but an admirer is... of the queen. One of them is getting a little old. She's um. No, she has corgis. Bud. That's right. Yeah, yeah, she's got corgis. Yeah, I think that's Twelve. Right. We have a little. She's a set of stairs woman. so she can get up in the. That she uh, may or right. may little not little Yorkshire puddings hills. there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, technically, the schnauzer I have, the reason they were able to make it small like this is because they mixed it with a Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah. So, he is part Yorkshire. Yeah. They're great dogs. They've been wonderful with the kids. It's, I mean, the grandkids. Yeah. Well, that's why I bought the dog. I bought it for the kids, right? And that's why I said he did his job, because he did. I wonder if gangsters have dogs. Do they have dogs? I mean, they're oh, people yeah. too, right? John Wick had one, and he was pretty much a gangster, right? But he worked for Hitler, so many. Years. He was an assassin. Hitler loved his Hitler loved his uh, German shepherds, and he was an original OG. Yeah, he was definitely an original OG. That's oh. true. Yeah, that's uh, that was terrible. Yeah, don't endorse that. No. Oh, dogs! I like dogs. Dogs. Most people like. You that. like dogs? Yes. When someone tells you they're a cat person, run. Yeah, I like cats. I like oh my well. god! I'm one of those. Uh, I'm one of those people that likes both and don't see why he'd like one or not the other because they're both no, just that's as true. nice. That, I was just joking. Yeah, I, I grew up with cats. cats. Yeah, I, like I know cats. people that are like that's that. They think cats are horrible. It's like, what's wrong with cats? It's like if you've never had them, maybe cats just don't like you. <laughs> you know, maybe what I mean? it's ridiculous. Cats are uh, <laughs> horrible, but you do need to acknowledge no, they are. All the cats I've had have always been really friendly and nice. <laughs> I've never had a dick cat, well, like everyone the, says. You, I just think cats don't. Well, you know the interesting thing with a rabbit. I grew up with cats. My mom usually had three to yeah, five in the I house, did. right? That's, yeah. And here's the funny thing, though. The cats would sit in my dad's lap and sit in my lap and nobody else's. Yeah. Maybe this is what they mean. The warmest lap. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, whatever. I'm sure they had a reason because cats are definitely self-indulgent. That is for sure. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, maybe it's just because cats are not friendly cock, to everybody. Bro. Hmm? Hmm? What do you say? Nothing. Hmm? You got hmm? something to say there, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> I said it's because of Friend? your huge cock, bro. Huh? Huh? Friendo? <laughs> is that what it is? Oh, okay. yeah. Scratching yeah. post. <laughs> oh, damn. I always... No, I'm not into that shit. Oh, Eric. Lord. How dare That's you. That's miserable. I don't I've know what it was. I always found it hilarious when people get angry up, and they, they, they turn into... Uh, People from the 1930s and start calling people buddy and guy and pal. Yeah, it's listen, it's pal. Yeah, buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> bud. Listen, bud. Listen, friend. Mm, Superman. <laughs> 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 that was pretty good. I like that one. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I think it might just be a calmness, right? Uh, I think that's what cats uh, are reflecting on is calmness. Yeah, until their pupils go huge and they start running around and ripping shit up. <laughs> well, my mother right, was never a calm person. in right. this house who, <laughs> who rips up the toilet paper when he gets bored. <laughs> he's lucky he's cute, let me tell you. Okay, let me tell you. What kind of dog is it? I was talking about the cat. Oh, well. <laughs> I was going to say he was talking about a cat. <laughs> what kind of he's cat? My cat dog's Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> is he? Is he a Chihuahua? Chihuahua? That was racist. 
I was. Hate, I hate Chihuahuas. <laughs> They're such hideous little things. They are, and they yap a lot. I never understood the appeal. Yeah. I get a Yorkshire. Uh, uh, I get some of these little teeny uh, teacup terrier. Uh, I get those. They're cute. But a Chihuahua or a freaking toy poodle? Are you kidding me? Bug-eyed monsters. <laughs> It is looking more and more yeah. Japanese every second that goes As by. As Ron Swanson says, anything under mm-hmm. 20 pounds is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who Ron Swanson is, but that's funny. The oh, libertarian guy from uh, Parks and Recreation. You would love Ron Swanson. I've never uh, watched Chester. that show. Yeah. Uh, the show itself is whatever, but Ron Swanson is brilliant. It's it's just worth watching uh, compilations of Ron Swanson. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And who? which actor plays Duke him? Silver. What's this bloke's name? What's his name? Nick Offerman. Nick, I don't know yeah. who he is. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like you'd, uh, I, I bet reckon you'd uh, you'd recognize him as soon as you see him. Oh, okay. He's one of those actors. Uh, but it's kind of like uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. I love Danny DeVito. I'd probably love that show. I just never watched it. Uh, much love sunny DeVito, There's a Danny. lot of yelling. <laughs> yeah, but Danny has the perfect level of sarcastic sideways shade he's he's the he's true master of it you, know? and you have to understand so bird law <laughs> bird law why what do you mean <laughs> that a joke from the show well we're just uh, familiar with bird law here you know Is what that... do you know about bird law <laughs> i see that's he... how many seasons that thing run Oh, oh, 14 uh, now, I think. Oh, I'm 14. Uh, to be honest, it's not amazing past season 10, but there's a lot of misses. But between season 2 and I'd, I'd probably say 9 or 8, uh, it's it's masterful. Masterful comedy. Some of the best stuff ever made. Yeah, I, I got to get around to checking it out. <clears throat> is it something my wife would like, or is it more of a guy thing? Probably not. Well... My wife likes it, but I don't know if yours would. It, it's hard to say because I know a lot of people who uh, like it and a lot of people d- who dislike it. And most people who dislike it, right, they don't like how mean it is or how much yelling there is because there's a lot of yelling. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, maybe she wouldn't like that. Yeah. I think it's well placed yelling, though. I don't think anything is. It's definitely mean. It's like about yeah. four uh, terrible people. Absolute narcissists. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I... That's kind of a thing, though. It's kind of an anti sitcom. It's kind of yeah. mocking uh, shows like Friends or How I Met Your Mother that uh, supposedly has likable characters, but when you really strip down these characters, they're all sociopaths and terrible people. And always Sunny kind of embraces Seinfeld. that. Yeah, yeah, it's Seinfeld. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Seinfeld. There was only thing, one thing well, on Seinfeld exactly. I liked, and that was Kramer. Exactly. Like I said, it was a anti-sitcom. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Well, I don't know, because my wife still yeah. cringes like- anytime someone gets punched. She literally still covers her eyes, and at even at her age, she's still shy about nudity. It's like, what? <laughs> Out? Yeah. Uh, she's just kind of that <clears throat> innocent country girl, dude. I wouldn't change her for the world. I was just going to say, oh. is it just because it's Japan and it's different there, but Japan are crazy, so... No, maybe, that's Tokyo. Yeah, maybe it's just a creepy size stuff. Guys, it's Tokyo. Most of Japan yeah. is very conservative, very old-fashioned, very traditional. She's And she comes from a little teeny fishing village, and she's very conservative. To go to Tokyo. Yeah. I want to go to the outskirts, but I'd love to go to uh, Tokyo as well, just to see the shenanigans. Oh, there are, Tokyo. <laughs> there are a lot of shenanigans. There, That's for sure. It's okay. You I mean, guys, yeah. You guys met? Did you, you know, like a in cannery out on the water, and you were having a little tea together, and just hurricane came? No, uh, my wife is like a finance major, and um, <clears throat> she she would been working in uh, Manhattan on Wall Street uh, doing for, for foreign currency exchange, and uh, they were going to send her bank. She was working for a bank, uh, and they were going to send her to Beijing because she uh, speaks very good Chinese. Uh, so they, uh, she was in Taiwan, uh, Taipei University, uh, just basically making her Chinese perfect uh, before they sent her over to Beijing. Uh, but that all kind of collapsed, and her company went bankrupt. Her banker actually went bankrupt, uh, and then she met me. 
It wasn't like Karate Kid doing no. this terror playing in the background. No. Nope, in a big city. The little drum teach you how to fight. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Sun wax off? No. no. no you I saw break her any school. ice with your bare hands. Well, no, the, uh, the the way I met her was actually really weird because I was staying, uh, she was uh, uh, kind of in transition. You know, she was at this, uh, well, I guess it's technically a youth hostel, but it's not really. It was more of a, a hostel ap- uh, uh, apartment community thing. Anyway, it was a pretty nice place, actually. Um, and uh, I was trying to get with this little Chinese girl. And these Taiwanese girls are a bit of a pain in the ass uh, because uh, they need escorts when they go on dates and stuff like that. And, you know, I, that wasn't what I was all about. So I was really trying to get this Chinese girl, this cute little thing, uh, to go out on a date with me. And I finally got her to agree. But then I found out that she was bringing like 30 of her friends. Right. Uh, and maybe it wasn't that many, but it was a, a shit ton. So I was like, all right, I could play that game too. So I went around to all the dudes and I get everybody to come with me. And, uh, one of the guys from Tokyo, uh, his name was hero. And, uh, he really liked one of the girls and, uh, and he was like, well, I was like, oh, awesome dude. Invite her, bring her along. And he's like, oh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. And I'm like, why not? He says, oh, no, 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 no. All right, fine. So I went over and invited her to come with us for hero. And I spent the whole night trying to get at Sherry. Uh, that's her, her English. Uh, Chinese like to take English names, by the way. Japanese don't do that. Um, and uh, uh, the whole night trying to get at her, it was just too much damn work. Too much damn work. Uh, especially because I, I was kind of dating the stewardess lady. So it was like, oh, whatever. So I kind of dropped it and kind of gave up. But it was a big, huge, fun night because we had this big, giant group of people. And we went to go see a Meg Ryan movie. I can't remember. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but whatever. Uh, but after it was all done, we went over to a Burger King and, uh, we were, uh, the whole top floor of the Burger King was filled with us and we're just chatting and having a good old time. And, uh, the thing that had happened during the night when uh, we were going over there, uh, here, she and, uh, uh, hero were walking in the back and they were just silent. So I was actually turned around walking backwards and, uh, just getting a conversation started between them and they were t- started talking. Then I shut up and turned back around and let him, let it continue. And then he shut up again. So I kept doing this all night. So I was talking to her all night anyway. And Hero's absolutely freaking useless. Um, and, uh, we were chatting in the Burger King and she said she was trying to learn Spanish as well. She's a little bit of a linguist like I am. And I was like, oh, I speak Spanish. And I, I, I said, I have a, um, uh, I have a, a, a Spanish calculator. <clears throat> Not a calculator, a dictionary, electronic dictionary. <laughs> and uh, back in your room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, so uh, uh, she came back and over to my place, and I gave her the thing. And I touched, I wasn't really thinking much of it. I wasn't I really, no, seriously. I, I, I was kind of bummed thing. that I couldn't, I wasn't making any ground with the, the Chinese girl, right? But when I handed her the, uh, dic- the dictionary, I uh, accidentally ah. touched her arm. And I saw her Twin eyes Peter light Satera up. Played? No, seriously. I, I saw no, he didn't. Seriously. But I saw her Satera. eyes light okay. up, and I was like, "Hmm." So I said, "Hey, you want to go on a date on Friday?" And she said, "Oh, I actually have a date on that day." I was like, "Hmm. How about Saturday?" She said, "Sure." The rest is history. That's how I met my wife. That's how he met your mother, Booster. That's right. There you go. I could too, oh. but I guess it'll do. It's not a bad little story, Eric. I always imagine it's crap too, and you just. I'm sorry. Did I ruin the, the, the? Did I ruin the illusion? Yeah. Ruined it. Yeah. Thing was, we we started dating, and we decided to move in together and get an apartment because you know we, you know might as well, right? And we picked in this really. It's like kind of like having a, an apartment over Times Square is where I got the apartment, right? And we moved in together. We came back to pick up all her stuff, and a whole bunch of dudes were pissed fuming because there are a lot of guys hitting at her knocking at her right and uh they all failed and they were just pissed at me dude so pissed and i was like what the fuck man it's all all, all fair and war uh, all fair and love and war brothers yeah the guy jin did it yeah well you know what do you want funny thing was i was playing at club kiss at the time uh which at that time was the largest nightclub in asia it was a beautiful place, and uh, it's actually a crushed velvet uh, nightclub, if you can believe that. 
Um, but uh, I was playing on uh, there, and of course I invited her to come see the band. I was playing with Nine One One at the time, uh, which is a really good band, uh, like a kind of a poppy uh, pseudo fusion band, <clears throat> bunch of black dudes, and I was on saxophone. And um, uh, the funny thing is, uh, I brought her to the show. She came over. There's a whole bunch of girls losing their damn mind. I'm doing the solo, right? Just, you know, uh, absolutely enamored. And she's just sitting there kind of bobbing her head, not giving a shit. It's so weird. I married a girl that doesn't care about my music at all. How did I do that, Booster? What was I thinking? Uh, no, I've been, I've been in a lot of relationships and with girls that just didn't give a shit about music no. like that. I, I can explain it pretty easy for you, Chester. Uh, boobs. Real oh. easy. Simple. I was going to say, there are women who dance and there are those who do not dance. <laughs> what? Just like that guy says from Guardians of the Galaxy. Fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, Batista, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Batista. Yeah. Bat I don't know. Man, there might have been something I liked about her because, uh, you know, uh, all of that attention and all of that kind of over exuberance, maybe it's, it gets boring. Maybe. But whatever. That's how I met her. How'd you meet your wife? No. Um, I've told that story before, Chester. Multiple times, in fact. Fine. So, this is how much he pays attention, Booster. You see? You see? I God. can't believe it. All I can't these... believe it either. Jeez. <sighs> uh, no, my ex fiance is my ex fiance for a very good reason. She was cheating on me for a year. Uh -huh. uh, and basically, she. Hit the bricks, went back to where she was from, and I was very depressed. So my loving mother asked my cousin, my closest, one of my closest family members, if she had any single friends, because she was trying to help me not feel so bad. Aww. And it worked. And I married her. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> and Pablo says, and Hero killed himself after that. I don't know what happened to Hero. Uh, this is a nice little left story. Him. <laughs> well, it's his fault. It is his fault. <laughs> I usually helped him. Is when you kill I helped him all night. Tried to help him all day. It does sound like it was his own fault. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to talk to a girl. <laughs> no, what the hell, dude? See, when you're out with a group of people, it's even freaking easy. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah. So, Elrod says, wow, so Chester settled for his wife because he couldn't get the Chinese girl. Doghouse for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's the moral of the story. <laughs> I mean, I would I would rather a Japanese chick over a Chinese chick if you're going to make Oh, no, choice. I made the right choice. Didn't I made the right choice. she was yeah. Taiwanese at first, then call her a China woman? Well, no. Taiwan is China. It is China, China, dude. They are Chinese. The They're thing. the better Chinese. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, dude. They're China, too. Electric boogaloo. This is, this is why she didn't stay with you, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> you kept calling her a China woman. No, no. Uh, I could have pursued You're very that, stuck but, up about that. But you have to understand, I wasn't looking for a girlfriend. I just was trying to get laid a lot. That was my goal. Yeah. Lots of la lots of sex with well, lots of different pretty girls. That's but then you said you got happened. married and you understood, wait a minute, Goodbye. this is easier. Goodbye. It is. And she absolutely <laughs> trapped my ass, dude. She did. Because it shut down. I had that, that was not... I did not date or with an, another girl after uh, I started dating her. Yeah, done. Yeah, but that wasn't my intention, and that girl wanted marriage. That's fair enough. I don't blame her for that. I don't blame her at all. Uh, but I, I just wanted to have sex with uh, cute little Chinese girls, dude. I mean, wouldn't you? When in uh, Asia, yeah. right? It, even now, I would still enjoy that greatly. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I did. I, I was playing around with a bunch of little girls. But you have to understand, Booster, <laughs> oh, I whoa, was... Whoa. <laughs> Apple slick, Jimmy. God. Oh, <laughs> shit. What did you say, bro? <laughs> what, who, me? I, he means young women. Young women. Who, Not me? Not little girls. I said something inappropriate? <laughs> Christ! Well, uh, it's acceptable now because you're basically foreign now. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, uh, but uh, well, no, of course I was chasing around uh, uh, Chinese girls. What do you want? Young women. women. I was young years. too. I was like 25. Chinese women. He was chasing. I want to yeah. be clear. Women, female of adult, of full adult age. You people are straight up <laughs> stupid. That's all I got to say about that. 
but uh, yeah, dude. Uh, I but... love little girls. They make me feel so bad. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. But anyway, the point I was trying to make, Booster, you have to understand at that time, I was belligerent in a way. Because uh, I had zero, oh, at that time. Zero, zero fear. <laughs> I had zero fear. I remember one girl I dated for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks uh, when I was over, first over there. I was walking with a group of guys. We're going down the street and there's this uh, restaurant, nice restaurant actually. And uh, the, the door is open That's and good. you can see this podium in there and there's a little hostess girl sitting there. And I was like, ooh. So I walked right in immediately, like took an immediate left, went into the place, went and chatted her up. And, and got a date date with her like the the next night or a couple nights later or something like that. That's what I that's who I was at that time. I was belligerent as hell, dude. Mm. I d- did not care, right? So it's really weird because my wife caught me, and I guess it was just the right person, the right thing, right time, because I wasn't uh, looking was for it at all, dude. Pablo, Pablo, I'm assuming you're referring to me, and no, I did not marry my cousin. I married my <laughs> cousin's best friend. Close well, enough. The story sounded like it was going at first. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And I just happened to fall in love with my cousin, all right? God! Chester oh, can sing about little girls. Of common. <laughs> if you saw her. <laughs> like DNA. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Technically, uh, if you want to get into genetics, uh, the, only real, no, the no, only no, real no, 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 <laughs> no, no, Chester. <laughs> Well, I actually studied quite trying... a bit of ge- uh, 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 genetic uh, anthropology. Abort. You're trying abort. to defend things you've done with your... No, I'm not. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm, I'm trying to Wait help, a minute. Trying to help it. Your cousin's out. hot. You don't need to justify it to us, buddy. <laughs> oh, dude, I haven't oh, seen her since you're like cousin... 14, dude. What do you want about Listen, bo- Listen, Booster oh. has really ho- a really hot sister, so oh. it's fine. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. Booster's got a hot sister. All right. Uh, is she hot? Boy. I don't know who shows. Why pictures. do I? Why do I come on this fucking show? You know, you're all idiots. <laughs> yeah, I have done a sax solo for China Girl before, Joe. Though it's actually a pretty good song. Dave Bowie thought that was, sentence was going a totally different way. Okay, good. Oof. <laughs> People are really sensitive. Uh, I, I, I say you guys are all way too sensitive. I said something uh, uh, some time oh back, God. and you guys got all bent out of We're shape because sensitive. I used the you word attractive. You need to stop saying dumb shit on the stream. Way. <laughs> idiot. You dumb well, retard. Yeah, but see, the thing <laughs> is, Booster, I'm so you right, can't just though. every touch. No, shut the fuck up I for a second, right. you idiot. You this can't is your every problem. Time. You're just way too sensitive. No, we have a channel that we can't get destroyed by, you know, certain people. Uh, yeah, well, fair enough, but I'm not going to apologize, nor I'm going to change my langu- language for anybody. Oh, so great. Fuck oh, off. you're so great. That makes you, you so incredible with Thank a big you. penis. No wonder why you like nobody. That's Fucking right. Fucking hell. That's right. That's right. And that was right. That's right. Yeah. I watched that movie twice. The second time. Wait, I was wait, born. wait. Shit. Booster, I need you to step back about That's 10 what seconds. What, what'd you say? Yeah. Hmm? What was that? Oh, he, he likes hearing uh, Thundara. I do. It makes I love it. Penis yeah. it makes him it's the best part of everything. Yeah. I miss that. What? <laughs> <laughs> he likes being told he's right. <laughs> Thundaro? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's all right. That's good enough. Don't, don't indulge him. <laughs> You'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> You're right. You won't. <laughs> yeah, this is coming yeah, along yeah. really well, Rabbit. Look at this! Look at this kitty cat. You knew what it was. Like you need to go and watch it. the killer is so good. The movie. It's a Japanese uh, yakuza it, movie or something. It's a Japanese because uh, we've established he yeah. hates his own he hates the culture he lives in. It's more of a random. Uh, do you know? I don't know if you pronounce it right. But you know Takeshi Miike. No. Yeah, uh, director. What did you just say to me? The <laughs> end of the movie audition. <laughs> I think of what he's done that's like what bigger than actually the kid. He did audition, he did Dead or Alive, um what was it called? That's Extreme really Beach awesome. Volleyball? One. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's more random than that. <laughs> it ends up with the destruction of Tokyo. Oh no. Anyway. I'm less I'm less um, interested. I'd much rather more, watch it, they're like volleyball. surreal surrealist kind of movies. Mm-hmm. So, this Itchy the Kid is a bit more like stable and then you get to the end you're like, um what? Because it, it's a lot more they're very cleverly thought out movies. There's a lot of metaphors in them. There's a lot of, you know, 
interesting ideas. You have, I don't know, you have to watch them. Surprised you've never heard of him, though, living in Japan. Yeah. He's like yeah. my favorite director. Yeah, I love him. Like he did never, Yatta Man live action. You've never been uh, to Brighton Beach either, and you leave, live in a little. I have been to Brighton Beach. Britain. I said you had. I just said it was a bit. Eh. <laughs> the skate park was pretty good, though. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Nah, there's a lot of stuff I don't know about Japan, dude. Plenty of I things. I mean, you know, you know uh, Takeshi and all that stuff. I just figured you'd know Takeshi Miki. I thought, yeah, but maybe he's a bit of a. I mean, I know his Takeshi. movies. But oh, he's Takashi, more of a... you're, you're talking about the old dude that did like the Yakuza Oyobu movies and stuff like that? Yeah, I know him. Yeah. I mean, you know him, don't you? So I, mean, I do. I just uh, figured you know this guy. He does the Yakuza I stuff really well, and uh, but he's also a he really weird, me. twisted guy. Uh, what's the name of this movie? Let me go. Let me go see if I recognize Ichida the actor. Killer. Ichida. No, Ichi the. No, Ichi. In one, the killer. Oh, Ich Ichi the killer, the number one killer. Okay, yeah. let me go check it out. Hold on a second. Number he's one got, super uh, guy. Crap. That's that's what needs to happen. Another Hong Kong the trailer, theme. then you'll oh. you'll know what kind of movie it is. <laughs> I'm just Booster, I need I recognize... you to understand. Yeah. It's not that Hong Kong Fui is a number one super guy. All right, you need to understand this. Is this true? Is this actually it's, factual? It's facts. Yeah. Wow. Is this factually factual? You can probably even find it on Wikipedia. It's so true. Oh my god! Because we all know they're a reliable source. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't recognize yeah. this guy at all, dude. <laughs> the direct, not the, but the director. You mean? It's no, not a massive list actor. of movies. Yeah. Oh no, I don't know the actor, but I know the director. I just like the character in the movie. So what? Watch the trailer for the movie. You'll get. A, you'll watch it. Ah, and then you'll know if you like his movies or not because they're they're, they're all kind of. Oh, this, cool. uh, this, this one's is a bit uh, more violent. This is a Mike movie. Oh, okay. That's all what right. I said. Oh, okay. That's what I said. Well, no, I you, said you that. You didn't say that. No, you didn't. You said something. I said Takeshi Mike. It's not Mike. It's Mike. Mike. It's, Mike. Mike. it's not so Mike. You could have understood what I said. Store. You do know what I'm on about there. I do so know. You do know. About. Yeah, no, he makes pretty good stuff. And he also makes some, some pretty good crap, too, though. I love Gozu. Uh, Gozu, that's really good. Thing. I love the. Have you watched the I Happiness like, of the Katakuris, the uh, musical? But it's like a horror. Like, no crime musical is fucking brilliant. <laughs> it's it's so fucking brilliant. It's obviously it's over the top silly, but it's also got claymation in it and like random stuff. It's just like a you know a Japanese take on a musical, the sound of music, but it's it's you know a lot more like about death. <laughs> Actually, I, I think the movie that stands in my head most about him is uh, uh, the uh, Kintaro movie. Kintaro, oh, yeah. I've got I've got all his movies from uh, up to a certain point on DVD. Was, um, I loved it. I love all his movies. I mean, he does some he's done some family stuff as well. He did the Great Yokai War. That was a family movie. That was pretty good though. Still, uh, but I love yeah. Japanese cinema. I, I'll, I'll check it out though because uh, he does make fun stuff. That is true. Uh, yeah, this just... is a really good movie. There's a manga and an anime of it as well. Oh, uh, well, he's got a, his his. Uh... Filmography is gigantic, actually. Um, oh, yeah, uh, definitely. Jeff says, uh, Chester is a band-made groupie. I don't know what that means. Someone help me out. What does that mean? A band-made is a Japanese uh, all-female metal band that's all the all-web made outfits. Oh. Okay. in band-made. All right, fine. Actually, a pretty um, good band, to be honest with you. Considering why? The, the weirdness. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't pay attention to that stupid shit. Um, uh, Joe says, "Why is Hong Kong Fui trending on Twitter today?" I don't know. I'd like to know. It's probably racist. That's what I would say. Listen, <laughs> he's the number one super him. guy. I won't hear the smears. Neither would on I this, on this wonderful yeah, man. Hong Kong Fui's wonderful, wonderful dog. What, what is yeah. he? He's a man dog. From last week. Well, you know, I what, what was that? Uh, what was that, Eric? I mean, Alan. That was my drawing from last week. That's what's trending. Oh, sure. that's probably true. Uh, but I yeah, hope they start calling it racist because I'm pretty sure the voice of Hong Kong Fu is a black dude. Yeah. Pretty sure. Well, it's racist, you see, because not only uh, Chinese and, and the Chinamen are allowed to enjoy China. Hong Kong or Kung Fu at all. Anyone else is racist. Yeah, racist, yeah. yeah. And like it's Bruce. not real Kung yeah. Fu until it's been in a fucking an MCU movie. 
Yeah. It's not it's not a representation yeah. at all then. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Only Disney can do representation correctly, and anyone else who tries is a racist. So that's the rules now. Existed for cinema since yeah. forever. That's the rules, and that guy from Shang Chi has decided that, and he makes the rules. I was told. So yeah, he does. Although he doesn't know awful. who Jackie Chan is, which isn't good. Uh, let no. me go check. Why is it trending? I'll... That can't be real, can it? He, he must know who Jackie Chan is. No, nah, he's being he's being an absolute uh, uh, twat. That's that's what he is. He's a yeah. twat. Yeah. I see. A twat. A... Booster's favorite American what? word. Twat. It is. It's my favorite American it's word. Gone. You guys get things could. right every now and then. You we do. Always Occasionally. Be yeah, that is true. Well, I gotta go disappear because I have to work early. So. Okay, bye. Oh, love you. Well, hold on a second. Bye. Let me take a look at your art here. Okay. Yeah, show, so us, show us the art uh, uh, there. Blow it up. That's really nice, though. You yeah, go, really love. Give us, give us a fucking look at you. It's yeah, straight yeah. on. <laughs> perfect <laughs> on model. It's really good. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> very nice, Kima. Thank you. No problem. Yes. It's lovely, yeah. man. Yes. So, anyway, I don't get some good sleep. We'll, we'll check you out later. All right, see you later. Okay, so oh, right. now, that the, now that the skirt's gone, us boys can have our boy time, eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Ooh, yeah. I, you know, Blue Shark, oh. I would dispense yeah, with this straw poll this week. We don't need it. Why don't we need it? Uh, because there's only three people here drawing. I Draw. see it. Right. That's in the five. What does that matter? Was... <laughs> oh yeah, it's because JD left and Kimma doesn't count. Who are these oh, people so putting? Who are these people putting flames in our? Who's Brain Cage and why does he have a blue wrench? Yeah, who is Brain Cage? <laughs> no Do you idea. know who Brain Cage is, Chester? I'm well, sure it's someone from... who's changed their name. It's probably Joshua. Well, he's got a. I am so confused. They took hey, away Tom. the ability to just you click on their thing and go to their, their page. Yeah, that, that annoys the shit out of me. It's yeah. like when when someone who was pretending to be Ethan Van Skyve was in our chat. I was trying to figure out if it was him or not. Well, he misspelled it just <laughs> one word, right? It was perfect. Ah, yeah. 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 I was sitting there going, why is uh, Ethan Van Skyver in our chat saying uh, retcon uh, doomsday clock? What is this? <laughs> that was very. That was a very odd time. Especially not doomsday clock. That's. I liked the ending to that. It was good. Right. Yeah. Uh, Joe says Scatman Crothers was, uh, uh, was Hong Kong Fooey. Yeah, there you go. It's true. That is true. I don't understand what the fire is. I don't know. But there's a lot of it. We probably should deal with that. I don't know. I think it's fine. Before it burns somebody. Booster, you're going to get burned. <clears throat> I think it's Captain Canada. I've heard of being burned, just being in here. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't click on their thing anymore, huh? Yeah, it's really stupid. Huh. I don't know why they changed that. That's weird. Brain cage. No, it hmm. just gives me options to do bad things, but it doesn't allow me to see. That's weird. Wonder why they did that. Whatever. I think it's Captain Canada though. He has a wrench? Would you give him a wrench? We wouldn't have a wrench. We know we wouldn't give a Canadian a wrench. <laughs> it's true. That's a good point. <laughs> I'd have to go to the website to check out who has wrenches. Uh but you know, it doesn't matter. Brain anyway. cage, I demand you reveal yourself. I think I might know who it is. Hang on. Flame it up. Hang we'll on. You. We'll find you, you son of a. We got about ten minutes left, Booster. You know. I oh. know who it is. I was going to try color my picture, but I'll stop doing anything on it. Is it a little rascal, Fundar? Let's talk. It, it is actually. Minutes. It's actually a rodent. I think they're rodents. Marsupial gamer. No, you're close though. Marsupials aren't rodents, they're marsupials. <laughs> no, you said kinda, is it? So Disco I don't know Inferno, if the animal Pablo is. says. Let's yeah, that's right. You know what I think though, uh Rabbit? I think your drawing yeah. looks much better than the actor himself. <laughs> No, they are not rodents, I don't believe. 
No, there would be marsupials. They are not rodents. Oh, way. <laughs> They're mu way mus... I don't know how you say this word. Muskrat? Mustel? Mustel? I've never seen this before in my life. They just, make the, they just made this shit up, didn't they? They do. That's all made up. At well, one technically point made up. I am the storm that is approaching. Basically, they're the same thing as wolverines. Polecats? Mus are they muscatails or... Yeah, that. That's the word. Ferrets. Is it a Tank! Clue? Hey, Tank. Yeah. What's up, dude? Uh, if he's trying to change his name, we really shouldn't dox him. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, break, 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 Cage. Hi, hey, that's a horrible name, though. That's not a good name. It's not. No. Now, not Magatine good. Joshua, not that's right. a good name. What was that one Fish, guy's name? He, Fish Chuzu. He used to love? Huh? What? There was that one guy who had a name that sounded like he came off of Xbox random name generator that you loved. I can't remember what it is. Now. Watermelon Platypus? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is an awesome name. What are you talking about, dude? Watermelon Platypus, that is per that is perfection. That's what uh, choir teachers tell you to do if you don't know the lyrics to a song. <laughs> Just mouth Watermelon Platypus, because it could be anything. It's hard to lip read. Is it? I don't know. I thought it was funny. Or I liked it. I dug it. I don't know what they're burning, but I guess they're just on about the Disco Inferno, so sweet. You know, it's um, yeah, it, it's unfortunate we didn't have more artists interested in the gangsters because, you know, Rabbit was right. There are lots of different things you could do. And we saw, you know, f uh, four, well, five with JD, different things done. We have a classic one from Eric. We have an Asian one from Rabbit. And we have uh, a... You know, Dick Tracy with Spider-Man Noir. I mean, come on, dude. Kingpin? That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. All sorts of gangsters. Yeah. Just a kind of bad There's a dude. name you just don't get to use anymore. Dick. Dick. Good yeah, name. You don't get to say that anymore. Yeah. It is uh, a good name. It's funny that... It's funny that the gay Robin isn't Dick Grayson. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's don't actually don't a good balls. point. <laughs> they don't have the balls. Oh, I'll tell uh, you what, though. The uh, the Lego Batman right, movie had this really fucking great joke where uh, Dick Grayson's introducing himself to Bruce Wayne in that movie. He's like, I'm I'm Richard Grayson, but the kids at school, at school call me Dick. And Bruce says, well, kids can be cruel. <laughs> <laughs> that that's great. True. That's awesome, yeah. dude. Uh, you know the thing, though, with Spider-Man Noir? It's actually one of my favorite versions of Spider-Man. I really enjoyed the Noir series, dude. It was a, it was so interesting. It is. We yeah. need more Noir. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. The Vulture. So we need more Batman so Noir. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I liked it. I thought it was really cool. And in that... I think there's a lot of them that could be put in a Noir setting and it would work really well. Like, yeah. Like Spider-Man, Batman work, both work really well. Couple of the other Batman like street level well. guys. Well, yeah, but even then, you can even put him <laughs> in it like directly, and he works great. Um, there was, there was a, a, a old golden age character called the Spider, and it was yeah. a lot like yeah. Spider Man War. Yeah. DC, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, but I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and uh, in that movie, uh, that uh, animated movie that everyone likes so much, Nicolas Cage absolutely stole that thing, dude. Uh, stole uh, it. You always stole the show. I actually uh, think uh, Nightwing would make a better noir character, largely just because his name's Dick Grayson, and that just sounds like it's from that era. It yeah. does, and Bloodhaven, I think, can be played out in that way as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bloodhaven's a nasty. It makes Gotham look like a uh, safe space. Yeah. Now you know when they came out with the Nightwing comic book, I bought every issue of it. I enjoyed it. He gets no respect, and I don't appreciate it, Mister. I don't appreciate it one bit. No, what else doesn't get respect? The fact that the uh, name Nightwing comes from uh, Krypton. It does it? Why? Really? What do you mean? Really? Um, Nightwing and F Flamebird are uh, two Kryptonian superheroes. Uh, like they're like uh, myths from Krypton. They're like uh, yeah. stories that were told at the time. That's right. Huh? I didn't know that. Yeah. So Dick Grayson took his inspiration from Superman. 
when oh, he uh, created the persona of Nightwing. Well, at that time, he had a very serious hate going on for Batman, to be fair. Yes, yes. Yeah. And, oh, and how Grimlock to, uh, has and a great how suggestion. Off more than go for his uh, boyfriend, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, uh, but they got that all worked out, I'm sure. Grimlock does have a great suggestion. You're right, Alan. Uh, why didn't anyone draw the weasels from Who Framed Roger Rabbit? <laughs> I love I the, uh, all over that we uh, oh. uh, portrayed as gangsters. Yeah, and it was funny. And of it's, course, Bu- a great uh, trope. Bugsy and Mugsy from Looney Tunes. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Stop damn laughing! You're gonna die laughing. Who is who is having a murder fist in there? Someone is laughing. dragging bodies again. I hear. Well, no one I do the Sopranos okay, either. Buddy? Yeah, but I think Scarface Capone. Sopranos is too on the nose. Mm-hmm. Oh my lord! Eric's <laughs> dying over there, dude. I think it's rabbit. rabbit. Is it rabbit? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was so in beer. Huh? All right, uh, Eric. <laughs> oh, that, that's day, Eric, in the I have a suggestion that's sober. going to make your art today. <laughs> Are you listening? Yes. Okay. Uh, turn it into a postcard and put something very clever in, in a beautiful handwritten script. Oh, that's Eric's. Be cool. Yeah. Are you just uh, turning the layers off as I went to have a look? There we go. <laughs> what, what, which, what is it? I'm trying to figure it out. Is it st- it's not Dick Tracy, is it? What it's is it? Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde, that's it, yeah. I, I knew, I remember, I remember saying something. Oh, it's uh, 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 the how did now, what do you guys think it. about the modern adaptation they did that with uh, Woody Harrelson, Natural Born Killers? I really I love Natural Born fun. Killers. I yeah. love that movie. But I love Woody Harrelson. Yeah, Woody's that, good. Yeah, that movie was yeah. so good. <laughs> I good. They got banned in this country at the cinema. I don't know. Well, for it a was while, rough. anyway, when he first came out. It was. I, 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 yeah. I went to the cinema to see it. It was fucking amazing. I didn't think it was that bad. I've seen worse. No, it was a good movie. It wasn't bad at all. But I'm just saying, I mean, it, I've it's seen very like much a modern. Movies. <laughs> well, sure, but it's a very, it's very much a modern interpretation of uh, Bonnie and Clyde, right? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. But with all the shenanigans and the like, the really cool cinematography and the weird directing, I, I, yeah, it was just really good. I love that movie. I might, I might actually watch that tomorrow night. Brought that up. I haven't seen that in freaking years. I think I'm gonna watch Naked Lunch again. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I've got that on my hard drive. I haven't watched that in a while either. I'm going to watch I'm gonna eat lunch naked I'm gonna too. Start getting, I'm going to get other movies. I'm going to get video drama and I'm going to watch that. As yeah, well. Booster's going to watch Desperado. Crazy movie. Uh, Desperado, yes, you yeah. Yeah, definitely watch Desperado. I actually saw that on Netflix the other day, so it's easy to watch. Yeah, right. Um, uh, but, um, I, you know, my best naked lunch uh, experience, Alan, uh, mm-hmm. I was in a... Uh, uh, what was I in? Uh, where was I? I was in a... I was in a Rakuten, and uh, they had uh, uh, like these beautiful sculpted stone onsens or little uh, uh, hot spring spas built into the rooms, and uh, uh, just uh, soaking uh, naked in the water, having myself some sushi. It was pretty good, dude. That was a good. Naked Sounds lunch. pretty good. Mm-hmm. Do you have some sake as well? Oh yeah, yeah, sushi, some I, sake, I, and, I a, love me some and a beautiful yes. lady next to me too. So you know, it's all good. It's, that's, that's, that sounds like a perfect afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> and and the view, looking down the mountain, it was all snowy. Oh, it was gorgeous. Great, one of those great memories. Oh, yeah, yeah that, that is, I, I wish I had that memory. Good memory. It's good memory. <laughs> Need to go to Japan. <laughs> no, you can really, find some I, good experiences here. That's for sure. Yeah, well, I, I've always wanted to go to Japan. It's just so freaking expensive. And I don't know anyone to know. You know what? I can't go and stay with somebody. So it, it makes it even more expensive. I did know a few people that lived there when they were teaching, but they all left. <laughs> sure. You know what I mean? I know people I, I, in Australia. I know a fair few people in Australia that have moved there um, that have been friends. I could probably stay with. That's expensive as well, to travel-wise. Well, traveling is expensive. Yeah. In yeah, well, not to like Europe, for instance. That's why well, it was cheap. I mean, I don't know Brexit. Made, well, you can and, get in a car, though. Hey, you can. I mean, I would. I'd probably go on a ferry or like on the train or something if I went to Europe now to travel in a car. But I mean, I don't drive, so I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Someone would drive. Uh, My ooh. drummer would drive because he don't drink. He can drive everywhere. He drives all the gigs because he don't drink. Nice having someone in your band that don't drink. Yeah, that's me. 
I'm the designated <laughs> driver all the time. Y- you need one. Yeah. Because he don't mind. He used to, and he quit drinking. Um, um, and I was like, yeah, cool, okay, whatever. But he don't mind driving, so. I think I like the yellow he's... one better, Eric. Yellow one? Let's have a look. I'm not looking at it. I've done with mine. Like mine's mine. The sketch phase is done on mine. Mine's ready to like actual render and color. So, I'm not touching it until later tomorrow. So the yellow one's a bit. That's a bit too bright. That's, that's, that's oh, better. Blue. But then you're losing the scarf now. The yellow. Oh uh, yeah. No, you're good. Good point. Good point. Well, that's why you guys are the artists. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's. Yeah, I it's, think it's, it's brilliant the, the, now, though. I like it. I like it. I do like. Yeah, I do like the thing in the background. It's just. I love yeah. it. So. Should, uh, booster. Oh, orange might work. Yeah, orange. That's a in bit, your uh, no, area, red doesn't work. What are yeah, what? What is the things experience. you can do that that produce epic memories? The yellow works, and it's just changed well, the color of the gloves about? and the scarf. <laughs> well, that memory no, I have sitting wouldn't. in that in that Rakuten, sitting in the uh, in the onsen, uh, uh, having sushi with sake, and looking out at the there, snow snow covered yeah. mountains. This is a really good memory, dude. It's beautiful. Just uh, I don't leave my house. I, <laughs> I need you to <laughs> do. Understand. You go get fried chicken and things, mm. don't you? I need. Well, that's incredible memories for me, right? But Chester has a problem with understanding other people's perspectives. Do I? I'm extremely. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm extremely introverted. For me, this is the happiest I am. I am not happier in my room on my computer doing my thing. This is this well, at, least you at can me at my absolute happiest. I hate Everyone's different. socializing. I don't like oh, other yeah, people. They annoy me immensely. If I ain't getting fried it. chicken, why am I going outside? And I and I can't go outside at the moment <laughs> because my prime minister's a cunt. Oh yeah, you you got you got like one case of COVID, didn't you? And then they decided oh, I can't yes. see a bullet now. The orange ones give me a seizure. Sorry, Eric, I can't see your bullet. You literally now. got one case of COVID and the whole country locked down. Yeah, mental. Um, is my uh, thunder is my inability to relate to other people? Is this a problem? Yeah, I thought your memories You're... are perfect. I've got a lot of good memories like that. <laughs> kind yeah. of a sociopath. That's so, okay, Soma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but the, but if I don't give a shit, does that matter? Not uh, really. Depends on the person. <laughs> Fair enough. It depends if the person wants it to matter. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. And then my indifference is I'm annoying. Just... Oh, I get it. Yeah. yeah, I don't give a shit either. I'm just pointing out your uh, lack of is the empathy? Humanity. Yeah. There's the word. Humanity. You oh, you, you're insane, Chester. You might actually be insane, but Maybe. you have a yeah. controlled insanity. I do. I do. I would say I probably am. I do have sociopathic tendencies. I would say that's probably true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know uh, what? That's okay. What's going on? That's, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. It's that it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of good memories, man. Uh, I, oh, I've been and I've done a lot of cool things, Booster. You should do to, do so too. I've done plenty of cool things. Yeah, in listen, your house. I, listen, I, I hate to I hate to shit on Booster. No, I don't. I love it. Um, I can't even get him to flirt with cashiers at the supermarket. He won't oh. even do that. That's always that's practice, dude. That's fun. That's what I told him. Oh, I don't want. I don't really want to. If you want to eat, you just go to the bar. I don't. I go to the supermarket all the time. I don't want to be that guy. No one wants to be hit on by me. The, oh, oh god, the cops will be on me in a minute. Yeah, but you gotta, it, not if you do it slick. No, you don't do it slick. It's <laughs> <laughs> I wish I wasn't drunk. <laughs> Well, oh, one of these shows I well we're to definitely say past our time, control. but I don't give a shit. Uh, all right, guys. No, we just uh, started about this time, I think, because we waited for Eric. Yeah, uh, we probably did. Uh, but anyway, we got Eric's piece here, which has come together. I like it a lot better now. Yeah, I think it looks cool. Yeah. Oh, the thanks. Purple yeah. Was good. yeah the it's purple. really neat. Um, uh, so we got Eric's piece here. We're not going to bother with straw, straw poll today. It's all right. I'm uh, running it anyway. Yeah, fine. Oh, Go ahead. Uh, but... Um, 
Uh, so we got uh, Everyone Rabbit wanted here. me to send Fundera on yesterday. <laughs> I was yeah, like, yeah. what? <laughs> it's a beautiful portrait, as usual, from Rabbit. It looks really, really good. Like I said, it looks better than the actual actor. Right? It's more the of actor... a sketch than though. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. the actor is kind of baby-faced, to be honest with you. Uh, this is a more wizened version. That's cool. Yeah. Wizened. Um, and, uh, and of course we have Alan with his absolutely gorgeous Dick Tracy kingpin about to drop in on him and Spider-Man to war is, is, nice. is gunning away. It's very nice. Here's the cross. <laughs> Dick Tracy and Spider-Man to war. That'd be cool. And it's awesome, dude. Now, Alan, I don't know uh, if I've ever asked this question. I probably have, but as they've said, I don't pay attention. Um, why do you call yourself the hollow comics? Oh, it's a uh, kind of a longish story, but sh the short was when all this started and people were starting to make their like IPs, mm -hmm. I decided to jump on what I wanted to focus on. Like, uh, uh, I wanted to do like, uh, like EC comic type books, you know, like horror, oh, fun okay. horror books, you know? Yep. So I thought the Howl, Com Howl Comics, the Howl was, is a name I've had since high school, uh, for like my emails and everything. So uh it's based off of a of a song so oh. i just thought it, it fit the horror motif okay that's cool no especially because yeah it it's not necessarily history. like a wolf yeah 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 it's got a long history it's a yeah that's that's a, the skinny of it like it's just a what the ip that i wanted to focus on when this all started right like things have evolved and i've been doing different things for different that's people because i i was still i was on dan fraga's show and he, he asked me the same question and uh, I told them that it's, you know, I, I've learned through Thomas Gate and through every and uh, all the indie guys that you have to build your name up first before you throw something out there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. it helps. You know, you want to get a little a little popularity first. So that's why I didn't I didn't uh, throw a comic book out there right away. I wanted to get some work and get my name out there and get some recognition. And then once I got my uh, foot in, or my name in people's mouths, then I'll come out with something. Mm. You got ideas? I'm still working on that. <laughs> I get it. No, yeah. I mean because you know Alan Alonzo, a good good Latin name, and you have that um, that uh, American uh, Latin accent oh, where you 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 uh, tighten the vowels and uh, at a higher pitch on the end of words. Uh, so the the so the Latin comes out in your voice, but how comics doesn't associate, whereas your name, of course, does. Um, but uh, oh, yeah, I awesome, see. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Uh, as usual. All right, guys. Uh, so uh, uh, let's go over and uh, take a look and see what's going on. Draw along. Hopefully, some stuff was done. Uh, it's unfortunate this wasn't very popular uh, 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 with people, but uh, next week we'll try to pick something more mainstream and get more people involved. I guess. Um, we got some. We got some duds sometimes, but yeah. you know what? It doesn't stop us. Yeah, but the art isn't done. Dudley. Uh, Dudley. I've got a couple. <laughs> no, this do, art right? is great. I mean, like, draw-alongs, we've got a couple. <laughs> well, all right, Booster, let's see what's going on in the uh, draw-along stuff. You want to see draw Oh, I'm going to put down a straw poll anyway. I don't yeah, care ahead. if there's only three people. You can vote for one of these three people. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Right Free now. of the North. I am a claimer of my Booster. name. Booster! Shut up! You are not a claimer <laughs> of your name. Is he? Is, is this one of these these uh, silly kid things he's singing again? No, he's... it's from Doom May Cry 5 and it's rad. He's he's obsessed with this very cringy song from Doom What, is, what, Cry. what, what game is it? It's fucking cool! It's, it's cringy as shit. Doom May Cry 5. <laughs> Devil May anyway, Cry it... 5. I like Devil May Cry. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, this looks a little bit like Devil May Cry. What's this here? This is uh, Vicious. Vicious. Oh, uh, uh, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, there you go. Jason yeah, good Dalle. job, Jason. All right. Dude, Jason's got an amazing uh, yeah. he has been doing this. He's got a really good. That's outside the yeah, box which... and current. Yeah, yeah. well, mm -hmm. Cowboy yeah. Bebop's a good choice. There's definitely a lot of gangster shit in that. Chinese syndicate, I think... right? I feel like if more people had thought like this that would normally come on the show, they might have actually come on the show and drawn. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe no, I would have They only had know. a choice of like Godfather and other. Um, no, I, I was never going to draw that. Well, <laughs> no. you know, Rabbit, I said last week. <laughs> next week, well, let's do something very mainstream. I mean, super mainstream. Yeah, next week's my last week for a few weeks before I go on holiday. So I want to do a good one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you could have done freaking Grand Theft Auto, you know? 
there's so many. Well, I figured then someone wanted to near automate it or near yeah, replicant or whatever. You're assuming Ooh, yeah, people have played that game, Booster. Uh, I'm assuming people have played the most played game of all time, Chester. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's like saying no one plays Skyrim. <laughs> I've never played Grand Theft Auto. Oh, you need to. What's a Mario? Oh, yeah. Any of them. <laughs> What's the matter? Honestly, how could you have never played any of them? GTA Vice 5 is the good. single most successful piece of media ever created. Yeah, and it's no, not no, even no, close. I know it's very popular. I know that. It just didn't intrigue me. I think they're at like five and a half billion dollars for the off of one, one game. Definitely. Oh, Jesus. You know what? Oh. Good for them. Yes, <laughs> baby. I'm going to remaster yeah, the Look at that. Yeah, there we go. So 80s, dude. <laughs> so 80s. I love it. <laughs> That's cool. That's great. That is I awesome, this is, dude. This looks like something from Vice City. I love this. Yeah, it's Vice City. Speaking of, it's Vice City. Yeah. 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 So yeah I think we go. have a... the thing about Vice City was the motorbike handling. I loved that game for that. Most but... people have a very sneaking suspicion that that's the next GTA is back to Vice City. That'd be great. Yeah. Mm, Thank you very Blue much, Blue Moon. Moon. Yeah, that's Blue awesome, Blue Moon. Moon. Yeah. Every very time cool. he kills. I don't recognize guy. the character, but okay. Oh, look yeah, at Jason that, Gimbert dude. Done something uh, very different for what he usually does. It's James Cagney. Yeah. James Cagney, yeah. yeah. Old school gangster movie icon. I see. Cagney. You dirty double-crossing rats. Say your prayers, mugs. Top Come of the world, ma. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. James Cagney, dude. <laughs> you dirty rat. Another you one killed my midget, brother. Midget people. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Thank you very much, JCM. Yeah, oh, yeah. C come on. This is... <laughs> That's cool. Oh, shit. oh god. <laughs> he's got he's on the eighties kick today. That's oh cool. my lord. Yeah, this is Vice City again. He's yeah, uh, what the fuck you think I am, huh? Tony Vincetti. I don't know what Vice City is. GTA Vice City, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's uh, a Grand Theft Auto Chester, you would legitimately yeah. love GTA. It is so yeah. irreverent and hilarious. You would love it. My dad's six well, years dude, old. He loves GTA. I recognize that ass anyway. That's fucking cough in the brood. Yeah, but isn't yeah. it just running around shooting shit? I mean, if you want to do it. Has, it there hookers? is a lot of that. Want to. <laughs> Story, you've got mods if you play it on PC as well. It's all sorts of stuff you can Now, if I could game. build my own gang and uh, and control areas and I don't stuff know, like that. Skyrim I Skyrim just like shouting at dudes yeah. and uh, slaying dragons? You, you can yeah, do that. Man. What's it? I like... What's, <laughs> kind what's of, it? yeah. I like... What's that? That's not very cool. Uh, the one that's like GTA, but it's all like triads. Uh, Lost Dogs, is it? Or oh, something dog? Yakuza. Yakuza. No, that, there is Yakuza, but that, that's not... Think of the GTA. Dogs, think of... Uh... Sleeping, yeah, Sleeping Dogs. That game is freaking amazing. They they should be GTA similar. games, especially the modern ones, more of like gangster movies that you can play because that's basically yeah. what they are. Uh, yeah, no, I yeah. should play it. I definitely should play it. It, 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 it. It's somewhere on my list, but so the, the, there's a character a in GTA Five. Easy. There's a character in GTA Five, uh, Chester, that you will absolutely love because he is just the most repugnant human being alive. Like, I, I love those things. Okay, uh, I love I love Trevor. Idiots. He is. You shouldn't like him <laughs> at all, but he is but such a fun character. Yeah. Yeah. Absolute cool. hideous. Absolutely hideous. I've got to figure out I'm sending on next week. Uh, just, uh, I don't Well, is, is he even no, 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 in the show? No, 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 because we had a backlog, right? I went on because I messaged him the thing and no one got back to me. I was like, well, screw you all, then I'm going on because I won like three weeks ago, so... Clever. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you? Yeah, I did but a good it, job, to be honest with you. Is <laughs> he one from the fan position? We have a back catalog of people who can come on. Is he back to well, doing I'll... the show though? Hey, yeah, yeah, he did it. He did Aaron Lepresti's um, Wraith of God. Oh, neat. Okay. Aaron was like, he wanted to steal the teeth off my werewolf to draw his next werewolf because he was quite impressed with the way I drew. I was like, oh. Awesome. Stealing my teeth, but it was nice that he liked it. It, it, it was, yeah, I, it was a really good show. I really enjoyed it. It's, yeah, no, it's I, crazy to have uh, Aaron Lepristi alone because I've, I've didn't realize how many of his comics I've read and how many times he's. Yeah, I know. Well, this is something. That's why it was nice when he likes your art as well. When he's actually compliments yeah. you, it's like, sure, oh, that's cool. This well, this is doing something right. <laughs> this is one of the things that Mike and Ethan and Art can do is bring on these these pros you know bring on these 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 people that we grew up loving and uh, and putting them on the show and i wish they do more of it to be honest with you 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it is neat and neat, yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I, I see there are some votes over here, but uh, Eric wins. So congratulations, Eric. Eric. Very nice. <laughs> Good Ooh, work, Eric. All right. That's got one go. vote. Good work. I don't know who voted for me. I voted for the how. I don't know why that's uh, they're all beautiful though. Um uh, but um but yeah no and uh <clears throat> I will take credit where credit is due. It's uh you only won because of my suggestion. It's okay. It is. It's <laughs> I I no one's going to vote for me. No one knows movie. But it is <laughs> beautiful portrait as usual. Uh they're all really good. Yeah, it's all right. I've gotten better at portraits recently. I've, the trouble is the way I've changed the way I do it, it slowed me down again, so I need to speed yeah. back up. But Eric has absolutely captured the essence of the theme, though, for sure. Yeah. And, uh, it would have been nice if this... Could have just done Joe Pesci or something, shouldn't it? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, It would have been nice if that uh, dress was flowing up a touch more. Just a touch. It, it's up enough so you can see the top of the... Yeah, you can. You're right, right. I'm just you know, a little bit more suggestiveness is all I'm saying. Um, I just want to see her spread pussy. Yeah, no, no, that would be too much. <laughs> that would be too much. Yes. This next week, <laughs> a girl needs to keep her uh, keep, keep, yeah. you, keep you keep it thinking. Easy to find out what we're doing next week. Yeah, no. What are we going to do? Let's make I that ha- decision. I, I do have the massive list. Let me have a look at the list. Yeah, let's and take I'll a look see at it. What's Kingdom? Uh, Burst. But congratulations, Eric. You're a really cool man. Oh, I, I love it. Kingdom. As usual. Oh, thanks. I'm doing Kingdom Hearts because it won't be right. What's going to be the most popular? Kingdom thing Hearts isn't a bad idea, though. If Kingdom Hearts is on the list. Did Pirates? That was a good. Uh, one. And my yeah. one rule is someone has to have a Keyblade. <laughs> Castlevania, but that's gone now. We've got. That should be the challenge. See? Put the Keyblade in there somehow. Norris. <laughs> yeah. Make your own damn Keyblade. <laughs> if you like Norris would be great, but no. Because Lovecraft. there are so many damn Keyblade really designs. Wizard of Oz. Legend of Zelda, Neo Automated, or Neo, whatever um, you want to call it, Monty Python. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. I mean, I've I've not played Replicant. I've played uh, Omar. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know, you know, what, something that should be on that hey, list. Lucy, is... you're younger. What would you think is going to be more popular? Because like, I know what I'd like to draw on this Don't list. Ask Jaws these is on questions. Here. You'll get <laughs> no, I'd disgusting these Sonic memes again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is no, true. Cause... I might, I might make it. You do a Sonic night again. <laughs> Hellraiser's on here. I mean, I'd love to do Castlevania, but Hellraiser, I man, Hellraiser would be kind of cool. Uh, uh, you know, you should definitely have Tim Burton Knight on the uh, on the list as well. Tim Burton Knight would be good. Oh, We've yeah. got Terminator. That'd probably do good. Uh, Escape. I don't know about that. Nineties anime. Terminator is probably a popular one. Have you done a Cowboy hard. Bebop, mate? You yeah, be we've we done did. we've done Cowboy we Bebop not long yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah, Ghost in the Shell's on here, but yeah, we we skipped that for a lot. Legend of Zelda's obviously <coughs> going to be a popular one. That should be, yeah, yeah. We could do. We I don't know if we've ever done Pokemon. We, oh, we did. We Pokemon. did Pokemon. We did. I I won on that show. We did Pokemon. I remember I did Charizard. Oh. That was one of the first ones I was on. <laughs> Charizard. I don't know. Unless you can think of something you really want to do. Well, do you think it'll be what's I don't know what's topical at the bloody moment? I'm not into that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> Afghanistan, <laughs> Afghanistan, yeah, yeah. <laughs> COVID for the past few fucking years. Yeah, um, uh, booster, you want to know it's crazy? It's only well, been a year and three like four months since COVID uh, became a dino real riders. problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, dino <laughs> riders. Oh, Jesus, Jason dino riders, the wheel yeah. warriors go with that. Um, because we did cartoons, old cartoons. Yeah, I, I would fun, love though. to do the King Arthur, Merlin, oh, you know, that Knights Around Table stuff. That would be awesome to do. That would be. That's me. Or the um, King Arthur and the Knights of Justice was, cartoon. Remember that? You got three musketeers. You know all that kind of stuff, like the musketeers. That's a, a big thing. I honestly think a computer game that's like near near automated. That's something very wordy, but it is very manga. There's not much to draw from it. I don't think anyway. Uh, Terminator, I'd like to do. It, it's hard because I'm looking at me. I know what I want to draw. It's not up to me. <laughs> well, you know what's sticking in my head from that list is Hellraiser. I know, but that's what I'd like to draw as well, or Lovecraft. But they're not going to be. It's not going to be super popular, I don't think, because we thought that about Nightbreed, and it yeah. wasn't. 
That's true. Well, we need something. What's on topic bigger. right now? That's what I was thinking. I don't have a clue. He Man, was we went, went past He Man, didn't we? What's that? Uh, we're not doing ganging up characters on this show. Ain't happening. Oh, yeah. Spider Man trailer was. Oh yeah. Uh, if I don't oh, yeah. want to do that before going holiday, can you not wait? I don't want to do Marvel crap. <laughs> oh, we don't have to. Guess what was on um, topic? So. Well, yeah, that's what was uh, popular. The fucking uh, new. I was Spider-Man hoping it'd be something Spider-Man good popular. though. <laughs> sure. Well, you could we do just all superhero team ups, and you could do we any superheroes you want. The Matrix trailer I'll, I'll draw as well this week. Matrix, I'd lo- yeah, the Matrix. I love the Matrix. Wait, it did? Uh, yeah, but wait, I don't think are... that would draw, though. He's someone in the... Like... He's, he want, he's on about HP Lovecraft. In what the do you thing. think, Elrod? Um... Uh, we should do face-off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to Why take his face off. Nicholas Cage that. night. <laughs> We've already done Nicholas Cage night. Yeah, well, there's, did, there's never great. enough of it, to be honest with you. I won it. It was a good one. Uh, we should we, do we did Westerns, the didn't we? classic. The ghost and Mr. Chicken. This point, I'm, I, if we, we're just gonna helping. keep, I'm just gonna choose Chuck Norris. If I'm going, Don Knotts wins. Don Don Knotts. Rabbit, <laughs> rabbit, buddy, you don't choose Chuck Norris. Rabbit, you don't choose Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris chooses you. Chuck Norris sound really rapey. That's right. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I. Hmm. <sighs> How it's about a, this? Is a difficult one. How about noiring up your favorite character in the Mar- in the Marvel style, but whatever character you want, just putting it in a noir setting. So oh, gangster okay. night again? No, 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 no. <laughs> not at all. No, I mean, I, I mean, you could just do. It's like Dick Tracy. You, do, uh, you know what? By Alan Why don't you so go crazy? Minnesota, Why don't you go popular. crazy? And invest in freedom for once, Chester, mm-hmm. and just let them do whatever the hell they want. Hmm. Anything they want. Free for all night. You want to call that free for all? Quite free for all night. Whatever you want to do. Sucks. I hate it. You suck! Free for all night. What do you guys oh, think oh, about yeah. free for all night? That might be interesting. Like a time loss characters, like any character you want, just put them in a different time. Yep, do whatever you want of them. Okay, well, Listen. I'll, I'll I'll add to it then. Uh, instead of having to put a keyblade in somewhere, it's free for all night. But a, <laughs> but a kiwi, a booster kiwi, must show up somewhere. Yep, there you go. That's the I rule. Can, I gotta can do that. Booster kiwi's got to be in it. Mm-hmm. Finally, that a booster really kiwi appreciation day. <laughs> and you go. don't appreciate him. I want to see him degraded yes. and Eaten. violently Whoa. destroyed. Eaten. Yeah. Shot. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lynch. Molested. Um, electric chair. Somebody's got to put him in an electric chair. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> no! I can, I can sm- smell it from here. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> smells like joy. Smells break. like joy. <laughs> all right. We'll do a break of free for all or something like that. Uh, no, I think we I should. I way. think we should wrap it. Oh, you, and then when, you, when I'm on holiday, you can do all the comments. Oh, uh, why wasn't JD do. on the uh, poll? He left. I don't know what. what I didn't even see what like. he drew. He just took off. I didn't uh, even see it. You're like Prince the Cat burning down a neighborhood or something. I don't know. It's, it's makes kind sense. Of I, I, makes sense. Bo Jangles. He's he's the he was the cat. I think. I don't know who wants I to go. It was, on I think it was, was Eric as I mean, a cat <laughs> burning down the KFC in his town. Yes, yes. That, <laughs> the, I think we're starting to get closer to the truth, Elrod. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah that's why he left the show uh-huh. early because he's like, oh crap, I gave away too much. Gotta that's go. Right. That's right. Gotta go. Yep. He uh, said, Raw V, free for all night, should draw Booster getting killed. I was probably going to do that. Yep, no, that's good. Free for all night, Booster Kiwi must oh, be Hellraiser, uh, being mutilated in some Kiwi. way. Perfectly. And if you want to do Hellraiser mutilating uh, a Booster Kiwi, then do that. I Sweet. like that idea. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, 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 he 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 should never touch the puzzle box. That's for damn sure. Yeah, uh, because he can't take the pleasure. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you guys all uh, very much for coming in. Uh, I enjoy, actually enjoyed it. We had some really good art today. Uh, and uh, we'll check you guys out next week. Uh, on Sunday, we do have a show. And uh, we're going to be talking about whatever kind of funny silliness is going on as usual. Uh, hopefully, uh, not so much Afghanistan stuff. But I have a feeling we're not getting away from that for a while. Oh, well. Uh, mm. But uh, you guys have yourselves a great weekend. And we'll see you on Sunday night. Later. <laughs>